what is going on guys we are right here at nexus Sports, uh doing it up with a little bit of smash bros hope you guys are having an amazing amazing day my name is Lumbo. i'm going to be your commentator uh for this awesome awesome event so uh, let's just flip on over we are already getting this bad boy started here All right, here we go. We got Chip right here, uh, rocking with a wolf here against the Joker. Uh, definitely a, a high tier matchup. Going to be quite interesting here on PS2. Uh, see what these guys get going for him right here. And nice pickup right there at the end. And Chip going to be uh, trying to even up this uh, advantage right now. And looking pretty good here with the uh, distancing off that laser right here. And uh, nice spacing. Gonna miss the follow-up there on that dash tag. But getting inside side B pretty easily here. Joker chase out. Gets the Rar Bear. And got him off stage here. Nice gun follow-up. And gonna short that recovery just a little bit there. And uh, great stuff here from Saul J. Closing out that first stock here so far. Already got that arson ready to go on deck. And that is a perfect time, especially at the beginning of the stock there. Going to be able to get some great damage in. Stalling it out quite a bit, though. And Chip saying, absolutely not, my friend. We are going to be closing up that gap just a little bit here. And coming back onto the stage here, Chip going to chase it out. Great stuff there from uh, Saul J. Trying to go for the uh, kill. Uh, getting a little bit antsy for it. Chip definitely controlling uh, off stage right here. Got him off the down throw here into the drag down. Oh, missed the follow-up, though. And uh, Chip going to take a step back and get... The big old forward smash. All right, rolls on up here, gets pushed out by the back here. And a nice uh, follow up again right there, having a tough time making his way on back here. And a good uh, claw to the face there. And uh, that's going to be the end of the stock right there. Chip holding on tight to it. Sol J got big time work to do right here, but uh, Arson about medium way, so definitely could potentially bring this back. Got that jack here. Picks up that jump at a disadvantage. And Chib not going to be able to make that back. And that is going to be the end of that first stock right there. And the game. And uh, great stuff here, too. Uh, Mr. Saul J going to be taking that one on home. What is going on, guys? Great to have you here. Welcome. My name is Wumbo. I am here at Nexus Esports today. Doing a little bit of commentary for you guys uh, as we move on in here to uh, the Spring Cup here for Heart of Smash. So, got some really great players here. Nightmare, Yellow Rello. You're going to see some big names, guys. So, excited to have you here. What's up, Lone Lad and Dust Bucket. Uh, Saint, great to have you here. TTV and Double Dwarf. Welcome to stream, my friends. All right, going to switch it on over to the PT here. All right, we are loading it up here on small battlefield right now. Right, so I'm already going to switch to Bulbasaur. Kind of interesting, um, especially at that lower percent range. Typically, you're going to see a lot of Squirtle play. Uh, but maybe going to be um, looking for that mid-range kind of distance here. Already switching over to Charizard, though. Wow.
great counter right there from Saul J. Off that uh, recovery. Very smart move here. Got him at 102, though. Switch over to Ivy Sword. Gonna get him caught in a little bit of lead seed here. Trying to get for the follow up here. And uh, Chip's facing now very well. Gotta give it to Saul J, though. I'm absolutely loving his decision making here. Playing it nice and slow. And uh, Chip really having to play his game right here. Looking for the approach and gets him with the up air, though. And that's gonna be into that uh, stock right here. Gonna lay off flame through the wrong way. Gotta take the down here. Back into the raw bear. Going deep for it. Not quite able to pick it up there, Chip, with a very uh, safe recovery here. Looking for the follow up off the plat here, but still not able to get it here. Great flamethrower, gonna uh, push him back out on the approach here. Chip really trying to get these approaches in. Finally got the shield grab there, not able to get the follow up and up smash though. Gets a dash attack in. Takes the back, goes for the flare blitz though, and definitely gonna have to take the dash attack, punish off that. Immediately return to the ledge. Great uh, move from Sol J. I love that drop down. Goes for the down smash, great spacing off of it, and continues. Uh, did stick with the Charizard at this point. Not only you're gonna be living a lot longer, but on top of that as well, uh, the range here seems to be working out for him better in this matchup. So. Push out by dash attack. Gotta watch out Arsene, though. That goes for the get up attack. And a great bait there from Sol J. He's gonna be taking uh, that second stock right there. All right, trying to get the follow up right here. Chip playing it slow here. He must still feel a lot of disadvantage there within Squirtle because he is not go He's not sticking to it at all. Which I think at about 90%, that's gonna be the percentage that you wanna either go Charizard or Ivy anyway. Just really interesting. We have not seen. Any Squirtle gameplay from him right here. Looking for the down smash. Uh, nice way down. Cancels out the Flare Blitz. So uh, smart move from Sol J with the gun right there. All right, looking for the follow-up with the up airs here. Having a hard time uh, connecting on out, but uh, gets a follow-up out in there. Got him off stage and a big advantage. Going to go deep and uh, continuing pressure off here. Chip having a hard time returning back to the stage, though. Finally boxes him out with the pair. Sol J coming right back up, rolls over, and using that platform towards his advantage here. Yep, trying to make his way back. Goes for the get-up attack again. Gets a drag down. Nice read with the forward tilt. And here comes the uh, Flare Blitz. Gonna go deep and gets the down air. And uh, Sol J gonna be moving on right now. Aren't we the best? He said easy peasy lemon squeezy, my friend. That is easy, easy stuff right there. Great drop down punish. If you guys don't know, we got some big names out here. Nightmare coming in from dallas we also got the man yellow rello the number one yoshi that i personally know of um he's a champion he's a champion but great to have you guys hope you're having an awesome awesome day so far the mickey mouse winning it uh on the uh, twitter vote absolutely crazy man absolutely crazy stuff i can't believe it won out can't believe it You know, I agree there, OVA. I can't believe Bucky did not win out. It, that blows my mind. That blows my mind. And it, and it makes sense that he wanted to go for the flare billets there. I, I agree with you uh, 100% OVA. That was a really, really smart choice for him um, as far as getting that comeback. That's what he was looking for. He was really looking for that comeback. I definitely don't blame him one bit, man. Definitely don't blame him at all. I might be even willing to toss that myself in that type of situation. Um, when you're down so much stock-wise, you just want to get that punish in and try to bring it back a little bit. And guys, let me get you a uh, correct link to the bracket. That's going to be that one there, the HOS Spring Cup. That is what you're going to want to be looking at right there. Okay, guys. All right, it looks like we're going to be rolling on over here to Yellowrello taking on Saul J. Wow, Saul getting the uh, double uh, up here on stream. Let's go. A little bit of background here on Mr. Yellowrello. I don't know if you've ever seen... Uh, his results, but uh, absolutely incredible stuff here 
um, in the Texas area. One of the best Yoshis. Uh, taking a look back at some of those older results before COVID happened. Um, incredible, incredible stuff. Um, even more recently, he had some things quite under his belt. But uh, back uh, before everything started, first uh, place in several Lubbock uh, tournaments uh, into, let's see, Ultimate Shockwave, uh, taking fifth place out of 130 people. Uh, so he has had quite some nice runs. I've done a great job. Uh, actually, the other day as well, yesterday, taking first place out of a 32 man. So uh, he's he's been killing it. He's been killing it. Uh, does consistently very well on Zanadu on Tuesdays. So this is uh, quite the player to watch out for here. I ain't going to be uh, rocking the dock today, though. Not trying to show all those cards. I see how it is. Joker. I ain't going to be sticking with that uh, Joker that got him in the win the first time here. All right, taking a look over right here. Rello, gonna go with the Doc here pretty interestingly, though. Um, you know, we've seen some great things from Doc recently, even online, uh, talking back to uh, Mabel, uh, lots of great players, and kind of the rise of Doc. I've been enjoying it. Um, had to have extreme patience, though, uh, throughout this entire time here. Rello, gonna look for the follow-up, gets a down throw, and I love the down air, just kind of feeling things out, how he's gonna react on that plat there. Great patience from Saul there. And you will definitely see a lot more Joker here in this IRL tournament. Uh, Rello going to chase out, gets the up air. Great patience off that platform, though. And trying to get the follow-up here. Sol Jake got him off stage. Got to be careful. Great counter, though, on the up B. That was uh, the exact way to go. If you're looking for more details on upcoming tournaments, please uh, make sure that you check out Nexus Esports uh, website. They'll be updating you guys uh, pretty often. Uh, Spirit, thank you so much for the question here. Tossing the Cyclone, gonna spot dodge it out, looking for the grab here. Not able to connect it. Great spacing again from Saul J. He is running this match right here, trying to put pills out. Rolls on back, looking for the back air. Dash attack in into up tilt follow up. Up tilt's a really quick option. Um, I, I really do enjoy it quite a lot. Um, as far as what he's gonna be looking for for the fish though, that's gonna be tough though. That's gonna be tough. And getting that connection for that final hit can be pretty tough for Doc all around, but uh, damage output, not anything he's gotta worry about right here. All right, trying to take the step on back, lays out for the back air, rolls on through, and trying to get the uh, jab to reset, but great patience with Sol J there with that double hop. Rello gonna go low, returning back on through, goes for the neutral get up into the roll. Great pick up from Sol J, just gonna stand his ground right there. His coverage on ledge, very smart here, but Rello trying to work his way through. Doc with Rage almost at max out at this point. Laying out Pill looking for a little bit of confirm here. Uh, Arsene almost ready to go on deck. Rello trying to work his way back on. It gets the back air though. Got him. Not going to go deep for it. Just pops to get up attack. Lays out the back air. Tries to go in for the grab. And he is quite in a pickle here. Late up air. Really smart there. And just going to reset it back to neutral. But good patience with Sol J all around. Tosses that counter again. Yellow Rello ready to uh, follow up. But the down tilt a little bit too quick for him. And that is going to be uh, it for that stock right there. Rello trying to get the approach on in. Throws out the uh, nair for a little bit of safety. Good follow up from Sol J here. And there's the uh, double gun. Rello having the hardest time approaching in. And uh, that, that's the name of the game here, especially for Doc. He's got to make his way inside. And uh, Saul just really using that quick um, movement options to his advantage here. Rolls on through. And again, just playing it out so safe. Playing smart spacing, building great damage with projectiles. Really great decision making here so far. Yellow lane out pill without a jump. Popsy up be a little bit early. Comes on back down to the stage here. Tries to get the fair fit in. And Saul really... Uh, making it quite difficult here for Rello. Looks for the back air almost every time on ledge. Um, great shield stun on the move, so it's kind of hard to answer back sometimes. Going deep for that back air. Nice drop down Cyclone. Saving the jump and a very smart reversal hook from Rello. Pressure game on point right here. Gets the falling in there. Gonna wave reverse it on back. Not able to get the grab in here. It's Sol J making it so difficult. Goes for the uh, forward tilt. Looking for the kill here. Rello got the double up here into the back here, though. Got him in a pressure situation. And Sol J just able to work right out of that over that platform every time. Doc has such a hard time answering back to that. And this is where it gets scary for him right here. Push him off with dash tag. Rello hops right over from the nair, gets the back air though, got him off stage. Look for the delayed fair. He is off stage. Gonna go for the late back air, but a nice answer back for the projectile. 
and Sol J looking just to close up that stock here at 152. Really though, at this point, Ferrello just to wait out our sin is the way to go, but picked up by the dash attack. It looks like Sol J gonna be taken. Game number one right here. And for everybody just joining, welcome to the stream. I hope you're having an incredible day here. We are at Heart of Smash here at Nexus Esports, uh, taking on down for the Spring Cup $500 prize pot today, guys, for a local. Absolutely incredible. If you don't know me, my name is Wumbo. You can catch me at Wumbo underscore official underscore on Twitter, and I'll be your commentator uh, for today here. But uh, Rello, going to switch it on over to the main here. Feeling a little bit ser more serious, and uh, nice to see it finally come out. Going to toss out for the up air. Uh, the biggest thing for Yoshi, too, is uh, continuing to get those smart approaches on in. Um, of course, Sol J seen some great movement options from before. Knows his way around Joker, and this is definitely going to be a match right here. But Yellow got a little bit of work to do with the game down. Going to continue to apply some pressure here with the egg. Hop right over, looking for the back air, and great uh, pressure again. Good shielding there from Sol J, but Rello all over here, and we're going to see a little bit of the up air chain. Cancels out the back air, returns back out on the plat, misses the fair, though. And Saul having the hardest time really getting that approach there. Uh, you see Rello just laying out eggs, and he's overly respecting it. Got to get that approach back inside. Rello looking for the uh, grab. Hops right over. Let's him go back onto neutral here. Just waiting out that Arsene, though. That overflow down air, really tough to answer back to. Great shield damage. Uh, even if you, if you shield it up, answering back to it is going to be the tough part. Rello going to return right on through using that super armor. Hops back through, looking for the back air. Shields back on and try to go for the overhead fair. But a cross up not going to work. Gets the uh, egg connection here. Looking for the uh, approach on through. No follow up off that fair. And great decision making and shielding from Saul J right there. Those eggs are helping him out big time. Great shield into the up smash. And Rello showing what it is all about here for the Yosh on small battlefield. I definitely like small battlefield for Yoshi. Be able to extend the combos a lot more off of those platforms uh, double up air up tilt does reach through a little bit um i think this is really advantageous more for him nice wave uh dash off of that uh i did i never thought i'd have to say wave dash off of a platform into back air uh, but we're, here we are with yellow uh showing off now full hop over into nair uh with that super armor so safe off of yoshi's jump there Takes a reach back, not able to get the grab. There's the drag down into the up smash and got him off that top plat here. Rello into the up tilt, off the up air though. Sol J working it out big time though. Trying to shield on through, but they are sent forward tilt a little bit too strong and a smart follow up. Continued to control that spacing there. Really great decision. Didn't have to over approach, stood his ground, built some extra damage in there. Great, great stuff here from Saul. All right, got him off the down throw here. We'll see the up air. Yellow just gonna return back to a uh, ledge. Saul overly respecting those eggs almost every single time. Looking for the uh, float back air again. Not able to do it. And uh, for the first time here, we got Saul pulling ahead here in the game and percentages too. Rello going to toss that on out through. Not able to get that. Trying to return back to stage. Hops on through. Gets the cross up back air. They're chasing with eggs and goes for the uh, delayed hit off that nair. But Saul were able to work it out here. Got the back air off him. Picks him up with a projectile and building some great damage here. Again for the back air, yellow rolling right into it. And great focus here from Saul. He is looking to take the rest of the set right here. Rello got him off the back air, tosses out egg. Looking for that uh, call out off that jump approach, but Saul gonna go ahead and start, go low right there. Yellow looking to make his way on in, gets the jab, shields on through into the up air. Goes for the down air follow up, which is a really tough one to get and the mix up off down beat, but Saul ready to go with the parry. Does float on through into the back air, tosses the taunt. Oh my goodness! What a call out right there. And here comes Arsene ready to go, the big scary man. Lays out back here though and spaced out again. Saul is really making yellow. I have to work for these approaches inside. Got him with the dash stack again. Rello really tries to drop down through that plat and Saul all over it here. Working out, tosses the up air again back to that platform. Lays out back here. Not able to get the follow up, so got the Nair finally able to get something going here. But Saul with great shielding got that throw off of it. And gonna work back on through, respecting it out again. And Rello able to gain some stage back on through. Almost got the follow up off that forward smash. Mixes up into the down beat though. Push back off with four tilt. Rello gonna chase him out just a bit here. And a nice pickup off that jump there, but really tough for Yellow right here. 123. Gonna wait out on ledge, trying to build some da extra damage here. Got the up air follow ups, respecting it out. You know, Saul really is 
giving up a lot of stage space, but Rello's not able to make the approaches in and he's used those platforms to his advantage so well and so easily. It's just been tough here for Rello. Shields on through, gets the back here. Got a little bit of momentum right here. Chase him up deep, gets him in the nair over in the blast zone and Rello with the call out and he is taking it to a one-on-one -on -one game. What a great decision right there. Incredible read. Uh, definitely conditioned Saul to go for that lower recovery almost every single time and had him there to a T on that last stock. And what a close match here. You're certainly in for a tree here on game number three. All right, going back on uh, to uh, the gentleman stage, uh, PS2. I would I would argue that this is one of Joker's best stages. Uh, drag downs with uh, up air absolutely uh, can be a huge, huge problem. Uh, we'll see what he's got in store right here. I right, goes for the egg follow up. Got to respect it over. It's definitely an interesting matchup for Yoshi. Um, you know, out of shield, of course, he's always got great options. He's got things like Nair, Down B. Wow, Rella really going for it right here. But Joker, as long as he continues to stay very grab heavy, he should be winning this out. Um, Rella going to continue to see him with a spot dodge quite a lot. Um, and it's just a great decision to go against Joker there. Chases him out off the gun, though, looking for the follow-up. Off air, gets the up air, and throws back the triple taunt. Rolls on through right here, trying to space out. Not able to get the grab, though. And Sol J chasing him out. Great bear to answer back to that egg, though. Goes for the uh, follow-up off the fair. And, you know, really, Sol J didn't go quite that deep, though. Rello just tossing it out for a little bit of safety, saying, respect my space, good sir. And now this is really going to be the tough part here. He's got to play Rello's game, and you're going to see Rello slow it down big time right here. Great punish out of shield again. Falls up with an air. Toss a single jab, though. Sol with the grab here. And finally able to answer back a little bit, but that super armor really helping him out right there. He's able to fit in a little bit of a back here. Just camping out this ledge and hopping right on back to neutral here. You see him baiting in those approaches from Saul, and with such a stock advantage, it's going to be really, really tough for him right here. Great parry right here. Hops over. There's the down B setup. Super armor not able to do it. Back air baited him out to the stage. Got him with a little bit of the back air and looking for the chase. And he is sitting on that ledge, just baiting him out. Goes for the upward egg throw. Not able to connect it up. Rello gets a very late hit of down air and baited it out for the up tilt. Not able to get the follow up that he's looking for for the kill. And we'll probably see down. No, goes for forward throw instead. Once that uh, stage advantage, Rello working up, gets the egg into the confirm and got him off the up air here at 172. And he has not lost the stock yet. And this is really going to be where it's all about for Sol J to focus up. Gets him with the back air right here. Full stock advantage here for Rello, though. Hops right on through, looking to lay out a little bit of a down air. No connection so far. And just playing that nice slow game. Nice cross up up air. Taking him on a train ride here with that platform. Arsen ready to go. Went for the single jab just to cover options. So smart. Covering that inside roll there. Good stuff from Sol J with the patience though. There's that float up there. Keeping the pressure on with Fares right here. But pushes him back off. And Rello uh, lost that momentum right there. But my goodness, uh, 76% for all of his troubles here so far. Rello hopping over. Not able to get the uh, fair follow up. And wow, what a read right there from Saul J. Our sin is expired, but goodness gracious, able to get that stock and very close right here. Push him off with it and gets the jab block, the forward smash, bada bing. That's a headbutt if you ever seen one right there. And yellow, gonna be moving on. This is only bracket. This is only bracket. Are you kidding me? And we're already getting these matches. Let's go. Absolutely incredible stuff right there. What is up, guys? How are you doing? Great to see you all here. Hope you're ready for a good time because I certainly know that I am. If you don't know who I am, my name is Wumbo. I'm gonna be your commentator for today um, and it's gonna be a great ride. Uh, next up guys on stream, I'll be letting you know who's coming on down.
Mr. Saint, great to have you here, buddy. And here is uh, the actual link to bracket. Thank you for uh, your patience. I appreciate you, dude. Next up, guys, we're going to have Mustang and um, Tid coming on down uh, to a little bit of the stream. You know, I told Rello out there, I was like, man, you, you got to chill, dude. Like, that is uh, way too much of a pop off at this point or just bracket. My voice can't handle that. My voice cannot handle that. Goodness gracious. All right, next up guys, we got Mustang. The, uh, I saw him warming up a little bit. Got a pretty good Palu. It looks like he's going to be taking on Tid here. What's going on, King Pac-Man? Great to have you here. Did this man just pull out the switch? Oh my goodness. Well, all righty then. That's how it be sometimes. Come on, guys. Don't, I'll give you some advice. Don't ever, ever pull out the switch. That's a bad, that's a bad, bad time right there. But great to see all of you. If you don't know my name, my name is Wumbo. Uh, again, I'm your commentator today here at Nexus Esports. Uh, I just got to tell you guys, this is a awesome, awesome venue. I, I've been to a lot of venues, but this one right here is amazing. It's huge like it is giant so if you haven't checked it out they're here in waco texas please look them up really really great venue um i'm definitely looking forward to coming back out here and working together with them a little bit more All right, and here we go with uh, Mr. Tid taking on Mustang, the big bad boy here with a little bit of the uh, Ganon here. What's up, Mac and Smash? How's it going, buddy? Let me get you uh, the right link. Unfortunately, uh, the bots are freaking out, man. They're freaking out. But here's the uh, link to it uh, right here, buddy. And uh, here we go on to uh, PS2 right here, laying out uh, for the uh, double near. Hops right over and lays out the uh, forward tilt, but not able to get anything going right here. Gets him with the side B, though. Lays out the back air. Holy goodness gracious, and a nice follow-up. But goes for the stomp, and he is looking for a little bit of clippage here for that Twitter. Nice spacing here. Going to go ahead and flame breath it up for the uh, follow-up. And, yeah, not able to get anything. Reaches back over. What a side B, though. Holy goodness, that came out incredibly fast. And gets up from Tid here, trying to lay it out. Gets him with the nair. Look for the follow-up. Lays out back air, and nothing off the nair. 
trying to return on back to the stage here. Gets the side B to chase him out. And a nice wizard kick to the face here. Trying to call out the jump, but the downer just a little bit too quick. Thought process was certainly there, though. Hops right over. Great call out from Tid here. And I he's going to have problems making that back. Great push back there. And uh, nice calls out here on PS2. Mustang, one of the uh, best uh, Ganons around right here, uh, especially in Texas. Gets him uh, with the fair. Gonna wait him out, goes for the uh, follow-up. Not able to get it yet, but we're turning back on the stage. Gonna roll right on through, gets him with the flame truck. Misses the tech, and a big boot to the face right there. So you'll see Mustang drop down and immediately return back to ledge right there. He's just waiting out those invincibility frames. Uh, great decision-making, spot dodge through. Gets him with it, there's the flame choke follow-up. Really for first stock for Ganon, it's all about getting those habits in mind. And Ganon is such a punish character so that first stock is all about downloading that important information and uh we'll definitely see mustang probably make the adjustments there got the fair look for the forward smash not able to get it gets him with the up smash show off that jump read and chases him out got the nair into the jab nair one into jab actually nice little confirm there looking for the jump call out and tid able to work through it just a tad here a little bit of early air dodge though. gonna get him out of that panic situation mustang gonna clink it up and uh gonna roll on through into the boot again wow these boots are certainly made for walking right here because he is walking right on over through this Bowser. Lays him out with the down air, though. Great DI from Tid, though. Just going to return right on ledge. Gets him with the jump flame choke. Gets the follow up again. Going to go and dash attack. Not going to try to continue that chain out. And here we go. Got the run on him so far. Takes a step back. Gets the flame choke again. Boots him on through. Not going to chase him out. Just going to let him come uh, right back to the stage. Goes for the call out instead. Gets him off the dash attack. And Tid trying to get something going, but lays out that down air and still having a uh, hard time right here. Oh, misses it, but barely returning to the stage right here. Good foul from Tid, and rolling on through seems to be a big problem for him. Mustang with the call out on the up air. And he's going to be taking game number one right there. Love the pressure that he had on that situation right there. That was incredibly, incredibly smart. Uh, he was able to get the flame choke right there. Uh, Tid really had not teched it backwards before, so even with the mix-up right there, even in mixing it up back towards the ledge right there, there was nowhere for him to go. Mustang had him on the jump call out and just great pressure game that's what it's all about great spacing and great pressure there from ganon are right, gonna stick with ganon right here i'd be interested to know what the stage choice is here um I, for me for bowser in, in a situation that i'm going up against ganon like this i almost want something with a little bit of platforms make it a little bit more difficult but uh we're gonna go back to ps2 all right gets him off the nair mustang coming down with nair number one tries to lay out the side b uh, and thrown off stage here I avoid it on through and great stuff here gets him with a jab chases him out lays out for the down smash not able to get it though and smart stuff from tid right here i think if he approaches ganon just a little bit more off stage he should be able to pressure him off a little bit more mustang going for the stop now be able to get it though laid out the back air for a little bit of a safety follow-up and mustang not able to make his way through gets him off the jump call out yeah get a big mileage off that but a smart dark paw there from mustang i reached on through the stage just a little bit gets him outside me though not able to hit the plaque good stuff and mustang still going to be living it out right here but looking much stronger here from tid yeah take a step on back trying to go for the call out goes out with the backwards flame breath but uh yeah wizard kick uh way way too strong for that bad boy gets him with the boot again that faint jump boot has been the bane of tid's existence here today and gets him with the follow-up off the fair went for the cancel off the wizard kick such a smart decision but tid all over right here smart approach and a nice mix up of mustang off that dash attack and are gonna be taking that stock right there mustang's uh bait and punish game is absolutely incredible throughout this uh entire set so far smart jab there jab comes out incredibly quick for ganon um and that's a just great get off move or if you need something to clink it out con his jump out of disadvantage go for the stop and gets it off stage there and tid got a little bit of work to do that's a tough situation that's a tough situation right here you know you are on game number two here everything on the line here on the winner side of stuff and uh you just had a ganon that stomps you down how do you keep it together mentally right here We'll see what Tid's got it going, but Mustang all over him here with the dash tech lays out for the up air. If he calls him out with the up smash, Bowser is a big boy, though, going to live it out. Tried to go for the follow-up, but good stuff from Tid. I love that he actually went back inside towards the stage, and I was able to avoid that punish here. Lays out for the down air. Mustang got him with the boot again, and that is going to be it right there. Great stuff to Mr. Mustang.
What's going on, TTV? Great to see you out here. All right, we got uh, Kusanagi taking on Jax right here. Uh, Kusanagi actually taking a uh, big tournament in uh, Dallas uh, just a few days ago. So definitely on fire uh, and actually taking down Nightmare the other day. So super excited to see him. We're great to have you guys here. Welcome to Nexus Esports, heart of Smash. We got the Spring Cup going on down, guys. And uh, let's switch on back over because I know you're here to see some gameplay and not to see my beautiful face. And uh, taking a picture to remember the moment right here. All right, Kusanagi it takes it back and gonna go ahead and uh, take the uh, cross slash on the follow up here. We talk about this uh, with Cloud quite a bit, but uh, if you're new to uh, a little bit of the commentating here, uh, you know, where limit gets charged up is super duper important. Yeah, refusing to take the flame choke. That's uh, most unfortunate. Um, definitely something to work on for sure. So uh, Kusanagi got him off stage right here, got that limit almost ready to go. We're getting that platform very smartly here, making it difficult for Jax. Jax gonna lay out the fireball. Coming back on it, picks up for that Nair off stage there. It got a limit ready to go. That is gonna be a kill confirm on the far side of the stage here. Got him with the Nair, goes for the back air follow up. And uh, this can be a difficult matchup for Mario, uh, especially dealing with the length of that sword. It can be super tough. Pops the up B though, losing the limit. Takes a second to lay out some back airs here. Goes for the big play and a smart down air answer and right back to it though. Jax trying to get something going here, making it difficult. Picks him up with the uh, flame ball here. Goes for the follow up again. Down air, gonna answer right back here. And Jax had a little bit of a rough start, but you can definitely tell feeling himself a little bit more right here. That fireball is certainly gonna help uh, him get back towards the stage here a little bit. And we're gonna see plenty of back airs here on ledge. That's gonna be the way to go. Uh, conditioning for that roll, really important with Cloud. He can lay out back air almost for free and covering um, a lot of those recovery options. It can just be super duper tough. Oh wow, and a very nice punish and that is uh, gonna be it right there, wow. All right, gets picked up by Nair here, Cloud. Coming on back to the stage, lays out the down air though for a little bit of safety here. Jax having a hard time, went for the fair though. Wanted a little bit of style, not gonna roll on through down till answers back. And gotta be careful early air dodges, especially against Cloud. He can put you in some great frame trap situations there. Hello Brave, welcome. Goes for the down air uh, and just pushing him out, waiting out those invincibility frames. Blood pushing right back on, gets a down tilt though and waited out the air dodge again. Gotta be so careful of that. And Kusanagi just making big time punishes with it. Gets a dash attack in right here. Jax trying to come on back, lays out for the back air again. Went for the up smash, barely avoiding it, but that up platform helping him out with the up beat big time though. And he's definitely got in condition to release shield there after that bear. It just gets a free up tilt almost every time here. Works himself out of that uh, situation there off the far side of the stage here and caught him. And that was a little bit of a questionable fireball right there. Kusanagi all over it. Definitely baited out quite well. That's how uh, single cross slash for a little bit of safety here. Hit the double hop right over the platform there. He is getting such uh, great plays off of that. Jack's really over approaching on in. Uh, and it, it's it's very difficult for him right here. Laying out for down air here. Who's he going to get a uh, back throw? Trying to set him up for the tech situation. Lays out fair to call out the jump. I went for the cross slash. You got to respect that third hit, though. Got it for the get up attack. Jax looking for a little bit of something right now, but having a hard time getting anything connected. And Kusanagi really on a roll right here. Got him off stage, laying out a little bit of a projectile, looking for the follow up off back air. Great stuff from Jax. Finally able to get a multi hit in into back air and clap without a jump. Gets him with the dash attack. And uh, the flood certainly going to finish it off. But oh no, he over approached. And the Oppie going to take the final stock right there. Tried to cape him out but just a little bit too quick for him. Nice answer back there from Kusanagi.
Oh, switch over to pit here. All right, uh, like a little bit of interest and um, maybe somebody's gonna learn how to read here uh, and read some habits as we get on over here into game number two. All right, Leno, uh, you know, this matchup, definitely pretty interesting. Uh, Pitt has some great, great frame data, uh, multi-hit moves. Uh, so we'll definitely be keeping that in mind here for Kusanagi. Uh, as he goes on in here, trying to close out the set. Great set from Jax here, taking him on an air train ride. Lays out for the up air, and Jax looking much more comfortable uh, with this pit. Lays out for the down tilt, follows up with Nair. And for Cloud off stage, that's where it's tough in the matchup. We have arrows, we have multi uh, jumps that Pit can use against him. Uh, it can be mighty, mighty tough. Lays out for the up air, waited him out again. Gonna hold on to that limit, looking for the frame trap situation. Went for the grab instead. Tried to go with the uh, float back fair, but Jax just a little bit too quick for him. Tosses out a projectile throw out and uh, just not able to connect that out. Jax just gonna return right back on the ledge. That hop off Nair working for a big time. Lays out down smash. Kusanagi looking for a little bit of safety. Tosses out the up smash. Gets the back part of it though. Jax having the hardest time getting that connection so far. Looking out for the back air. Finally gets a dash jack in and closes out the stock. Oh my. Maybe a little bit of a poor DI right there. Jax maybe not expecting that. Laying out for the double back air here. Trying to control something and get a little bit of momentum, but Kusanagi controlling it out. Dabs him up for tech situation, lays out cross slash. That forward tilt, uh, absolutely perfect, at least for the shield spacing here. But Jack starting to get a little bit of something going. Looking for the dash attack off of that Nair there. Down tilt will definitely give him a nice guaranteed follow up. And this, that that's a tough situation we were talking about. But a limit up B gonna limit up B gonna help him uh, return back to the stage here. Got cross slash ready to go. Calls him out on the jump. Jack's finally able to fit in a force match, but still not gonna kill him at 150. Pit definitely does not have the best kill ability. So if he's not able to uh, fish or get a combo connection off a of down tilt, fair or nair, he can have a really difficult time getting that final hit in there, just like you saw on that first stock here. It's now he's shielding on through Jax, grabbing a little bit extra, picking up on that shielding uh, bait habit. Plays out for the back here. Great call out to the plat here. Jax making some big time adjustments and baited out for that. Be going to go with the multi hit. Plays out arrow, trying to bait it in for that fair. Just going to air dodge right on away using that platform uh, very smartly. Calls him out off the neutral get up, lays out arrow and forcing Kusanagi. He's got to go high for that recovery. Low recovery is definitely going to spell the end of this stock for him. Jack's just going to wait out, pops up, be real low. Cloud really doesn't have an answer to that. He's got to really look to get a hard read off ledge right there. Shields on through. Just going to take a step back. Smart stuff from Kusanagi right there. Picks him up off the back here, though, trying to return to stage. And nice call out here all around, though. Jack certainly closed the gap quite a bit here, so it's definitely still possible for him to get something going, but picks him up with a little bit of back air. Goes on down for the Nair, laying out for the up tilts. Look for the grab right there, and nice forward tilt uh, follow up as well. Laid out for back air, still not able to get it. There's the down throw, though, into the follow up. Kusanagi with a perfect read there with that limit. So smart. Trying to bait him out for that over approach him with fair takes a step back and just gonna go ahead and go for the cross up. That was really, really smart. Going deep for it, throws out cross slash, pops the up B though. That was very, very risky there. For Cloud at this percent, he's really gonna be starting to try to fish for a little bit of extra damage. Um, Jack's keeping that pressure on a way up there, but a nice fast fall, returning back onto the stage. Tries to pop for the up smash, not able to get it. There's the back throw and goes for low recovery, but that arrow uh, not able to get the follow-up Jax was looking for. I think right there, once you get that in that situation, you gotta approach him down. Look for that down air or falling there. Um, putting Cloud below the stage is just a tough, tough situation that he does not want to be in. Nice rear back air, gets him off a little bit of cross slash. Great shielding here. Jack's looking for the down air. Popsy up smash getting a little bit antsy for it. Jack's starting to bring it back just a tad here. Picks him up off the fair here. Gonna clink it right back up with the arrow. Baiting out for that counter attack. So smart using that last jump there. Kusanagi having a hard time getting going. Answers back with the up air though. High pressure situation for Jax here. Gotta avoid that back air. Pushes him out with a forward tilt though. Got him a 144. Cloud just looking for that final little touch of something to close it out. Low back, uh, back air off the ledge right here. Over approaches, gets him with the up. He tried to get the call out, but gave him plenty of space off of that. Really nice uh, move there from Kusanagi. Just trying to get that final close out and roll back into him off the down smash. So Jack's all over it. Lays out down here, looking for the back air answer. And this is uh, definitely a tough situation right here for Kusanagi. Just looking for that final hit in. 
baiting him on through just returning back charging up limit here jack so patient i really got to give it to him he is playing like a absolute uh pro right here then this is so tough to keep together uh in this situation here but oh able to fit in the counter and just like that kusanagi gonna be moving on that is a tough tough mental situation right there but uh great stuff uh to jacks and uh even though he's going down losers here he will still be making a little bit of a run and uh looking like we got yellow rello and jibs i'm about to face it off that'd be an interesting one uh, but guys if you'd like to please take a moment check out the bracket here's the link to it All right, here we go with Yellow Rello and Jibs. Winner of this one got to take on Mustang. Uh, it's a little bit of a hill to climb already right there. All right, here we go. Going on down to PS2 here with the Sonic taken on a little bit of the yoshi and uh you know I'm, I'm really excited actually to see a little bit of uh of offline sonic and see how uh we can see how the characters really develop how the meta really looks for him uh because it's definitely going to be quite different uh than online so laying out of the nair for a little bit of safety here relo going to get the uh, down b off of it for free though and pushing him on back really for sonic it's all about that strong bait bait and punish and using spin dash just a hop right on over here the tough part here for, about Yoshi, though, is he's so floaty. Now, Super Armor can be a real uh, pain for Sonic uh, to get that step back bear that he absolutely loves off Spin Dash. So we'll see how that works out for him. Going to get the uh, homing tech. Rello trying to return on stage with a little bit of eggs. Look for the tech situation. Lays out up air and not able to get, quite get it here. Jib's keeping it quite close, though. And there's that back air follow-up. Um, really safe for Sonic, and you'll see him do a plenty off of Spin Dash here. Builds on through, gets him with the up smash though, and got all those connected hits thanks to a recent buff. Let's go. Rello with the back air though. Laying out for Egg, going real, real deep for a punish. Tried to lay out for down smash, got two frame, but gonna pick him to jump off the ledge there with the up smash and closing it out. Rello hopping right on over, goes for the down air here. Just gonna return right back down to the stage, lays out the back air, gets him off the down tilt, and the follow up into up air. Absolutely incredible. Love the uh, escape patch though there uh, from Jibs. Really smart there. Rello definitely going to chase it out almost every single time. Most Sonics are going to use that LB to get out of the sticky situation. So got to be careful. Jibs hopping right over. Gets him uh, with the uh, forward tilt. Having a re-grab ledge here. Jibs just going to look for the approach in. Oh, gets grabbed though. Tried to lay out spin dash and just going to uh, head on away. But oh my goodness, Rello almost got him with a fair right there. Jibs barely able to make that out. Answers back with a fair and taking that first time. Great, great stoicness there from Jibs. Holy goodness, that was a tough, tough situation. Answers back up with up tilt. Good DI out of that. No follow up. Rello just going to run right in with the Nair, trying to get it into the fair here. Hops right over with a little bit of Nair, though. Looking for the up air follow up. Calling out these spin dashes is really important for Rello here in this matchup. And uh, Jibs mixing up quite enough here. Got him at the funny number of 69. Rello looking for the uh, chase inside here. Just going to take a step back. 
slow down the game a little bit and not able to get anything off of egg here having to air dodge through laying out minecraft punch very safe for sonic to do so that hitbox is absolutely giant and gets him with the bada bing punch and uh, gonna be pulling ahead here great stuff from jibs and nice adjustments here so far Rella laying out gets him with the up air still not able to get it but follows up some extra damage with that egg here got him at 125 laid out for up smash but jibs still working through and the down b answer back to that whiff grab all right follows a nice call out there uh with the down air it's all about finding those habits out of spin dash and without a jump here really tough for jibs having to take a big time uh follow up on that damage uh wow oh wow already at 74 here just fresh off the of stock wow and answer it back to the dalby with a charge up smash off a platform who knew that had better priority wow and jibs making it look easy right here and taking game number one That was absolutely beautiful. What a hard, hard read. Three, two, one, go. All right, going on over to Smashville here. A little bit less uh, room for Jibs to uh, run around here. Surprised we wanted to go to Smashville here. Yoshi definitely going to be liking that a little bit, especially that middle platform here, trying to chase it out. Jibs uh, feeling very comfortable though with the small space. Goes for the uh, homing, not able to get it. Rello just going to shield on through. Really calling out jumps almost every single time there. And uh, kudos to him on that. I mean, most Sonic players are going to be trying to spin dash over and reset it back. So love the call outs here so far. Shields on through. Tried to go for the uh, swallow up. Not able to get it. Jib's really able uh, to work this out big time. Love the use of the stage right there as well off that spin dash. Helped him actually drop down just a little bit lower. So when his bear crossed up, he actually immediately touched the stage after. Really showing off a great, great Sonic here, and what a talent. Got the forward smash off of the back part of Nair. Are you kidding me? How big is this hitbox? Good Lord, bigger than Smashville itself, apparently. Man, oh man, Rello looking for the follow-up off that up air, uh, and so hard for him to get it. Jibs is gonna work it on through, lays out forward smash. There's a swallow up, looks for the forward smash again, went for the follow-up off up air, or I'm sorry, forward smash into up air, but Jibs, very smartly working through, forced into a bad situation off a uh, early air dodge. And Jibs continuing to build great damage right here. Rello definitely frustrated about that situation. That, that's that got to be tough to deal with. He's him out off Nair. Working on through, lays out back here. Gets a, the follow-up off that. I, how? How? Rello getting the counter in and going to finally get, uh, pull it back on the stocks here. The camp it out on ledge just a little bit. Forward smash, hopped right through, gets it down here. And yeah, we're going to see a carry for quite a bit of percent right here. Gibbs with the uh, spin dash cancel into the back air. Rello having a hard time answering back. It lays out off the cross up into back air though. Rello trying to bait it out, just not able to pop the nair quick enough and gets him with the uh, down tilt follow up. I love Rello's usage of down tilt. Like he'll throw it out and immediately look for a bait. He'll faint jump towards you, but Jibs just deals with it so well. Mar drop down up B, returning back on stage, trying to get the grab off of it. Gets close up egg, no confirm off that though. And Rello lays out back here, but it's gonna auto cancel and he's taking big time damage right here. Jibs all over it here. I love in this Sonic right here. Absolutely, extremely aggressive. Really not camping out. Great tech there. Gets him off the back throw here. Rello having a hard time. Jibs going for the force smash. Answers back with the egg though. Rello lays out back here. Gets him with the up smash step up and at 80% here, all on the line here to keep it on the winner's side. Smartest thing again, you'll see it from Rello right here. He's gonna start camping out on ledge a little bit and try to uh, bring back this deficit a little bit with those eggs. Rello looking for a little bit of the up tilt follow up, gets dash attack, and he is all on the patience train right here. You see it, but what a call out off that jump with the forward smash, and Jibs taking it 2 0. Nice to see a really aggro Sonic. And just like we talked about, seeing that difference between the IRL and online Sonics, 
pretty great to see. I mean, we know the Sonic gang really led by uh, big players, Wrath, uh, You're Too Slow, uh, Sonics. I mean, there's so many, so many great Sonic players out there. And love the aggression, though. Love the aggression right there. And uh, we'll definitely, I'm sure, see plenty from Jibs. He's going to be taking on Mustang uh, here. And uh, we'll see who we get next on stream. If you want to take a look at the bracket, here it is. And for all that just tuned in, welcome. My name is Wumbo. I'm going to be your commentator today. You can catch me on Wumbo underscore official underscore on Twitter. That's a lot of underscores, unfortunately. All right, looks like we're going to be getting Bumo and Tenchi up on the stage here. All right, and here we go with the plant gang. Let me get a plant gang up in the chat today. Going to a little bit of the battlefield here. So plant in this matchup, I mean, we know plant is a trapper. Really great alleged trapping as well. Got plenty of awesome tools here. Uh, jab so fast up till. Uh, we're going to see some great, great uh, stuff here from the plants here. Maybe a little bit of warm up right now. You know, I feel, I feel like with a plant and cloud matchup, um, cloud, cloud's going to have a difficult time, uh, especially getting in, um, you know, ledge trapping plant already difficult enough. Uh, he's got plenty of recovery options. We'll see what happens right here uh, as we move on into a little bit of uh, battling here. And guys, thank you so much for everybody that's here today. Uh, if you have not already, if you have not already, uh, please take a moment and give uh, Nexus Esports uh, a follow. They definitely deserve it. And they're an awesome, awesome venue. Three, two, All right, let's get into it. Right on Battlefield, we're gonna see plenty of uh, Batui ledge trapping off of that, hopefully. And there it is already getting it started. Immediate call out. Wow, what commentator's curse. Uh, is going on right here. Gets him with the forward throw. And working on back through and a nice cross slash. Already got limit ready to go here. Love to cancel there. Patui on ledge. Uh, kind of difficult to pull off, um, but definitely give you some extra uh, ability to return back to the stage. And use that down B just to continue to give him some extra options just to wait it out. 
There's that poison cloud and a great bait there off the Batui again. Gonna go real low. Pushes it back onto a great tech though from Tenchi. Answers right back with a fair. Looking for the follow up and crosses him up with a little bit of a jab there. Caught him off the air dodge with Batui. And uh, man, oh man, Puma looking really strong here so far. Going for a little bit of a dash attack here. Lays out poison cloud. You really got to respect that Patui as Cloud. It can be tough. Looking for the approach over those platforms. Getting stuffed right on out. And a nice cross up off that down B again. Wow, wow. Bumo carrying this. There's a cross up again. The shield break. Are you kidding me? Trying to build some dance points out into the up smash. What a play right there. Nice read. And Bumo all over this here so far. Wow, oh, wow. The plant gang is alive. Chases him out with the dash attack. Goes for a little bit of Patui follow up and good answer back from Tenchi right here. Get up attack, not able to do it. Gonna chase him out, lays out Patui again and Tenchi respecting it. Air dodges in. Wow, not able to get the grab off that. Lays out down B and avoiding the big uh, limit cross slash. Chase him out, lays out for up tilt. So smart and baits him on back into side stage. There's Patui, goes for the forward smash. It's spacing absolutely immaculate as well. Wow, oh, wow. Patui answering on back. That is definitely what Plant's going to be looking for. Does uh, Patui answer backs and trade on damage. Really important to his gameplay. And already got Cloud here at 111. Goes for the down smash. Uh, not going to quite kill though. Tenchi holding on tight to it. Tries to air dodge through. Went, didn't go low though. Bumo definitely uh, trying to cover an option that just uh, wasn't quite there. Goes for the call out. And Tenchi trying to get that cross up off that top plat almost every single time. And Bumo got him down to a T. If Tenchi beats Bumo, that means Tenchi over Drago. No, it just means it's instead of Tenchi Muyo, it's Tenchi Bumo. That's exactly what it means. Wow. Hopefully we're going to, yeah, I was going to say for Tenchi, he's got to go something that doesn't have platforms. Or at least less platforms, a little bit of space in the middle. Just because Plant's trapping there is so, so tough to get through. All right, lays out for fair. Nice drag down there. Good answer back, though, with the up. He looks like he's feeling a lot more comfortable on the stage here. Try to create a tech situation. Goes for the drop down. Gets the dash tag. Holy goodness. What a tension doing between this match. What do you know? Poison Cloud going to lay out a little bit of a finishing touch. Plays out for back air and uh, not able to get a plant. Just going to slow down that game. I do like that we have not really seen Bumo. Um, over approach here he wants to play that trap game and just go low and slow great stuff there and the answer back on the up though tenchi get a bait out and nice cancel from bumo as well safely returning to the stage for tenchi he's got his kind of standard of that platform and that's how he's going to get his ledge trapping in and control things nice reach over over on the bear here nice mix up for the up air missed the attack though could have chased him out most unfortunate all right gonna get it with the jab push him back off here Tenchi going to be doing everything to avoid having to grab ledge. He's probably going to actively try to return to stage. Hopsy up B though, not going to quite kill at 128. But up smash, still not going to do it here. But got him with the back air. And Tenchi pulling ahead here for the first time. Looking much better here in the second match. Uh, definitely that battlefield must have been really tough. One. Rolls right into Poison Cloud though. As smart stuff there. Bumo looking for the uh, tech back towards uh, the far side of the stage. Tenchi avoiding that down B really smartly. Going to air dodge it through. And you know... Taking the forward tilt at that point is actually your best case scenario. So him air dodging away right there and just taking the hit. That was really smart for a long term play right there. All right, going to get up, be out of shield is really getting some great mileage and a nice answer back to a lot of plants options. Shielding on through gets called out of the jump from the back air and Bumo trying to pull this back just a little bit here. And she hops right over. What in that poison cloud answers back with a fair calls out the jump with these up airs here shields on through and man barely missed the roll inside oh no nice shielding here Bumo loves that uh double hop falling nair and tenchi uh starting to pick up on it just getting that free shield bait uh not over uh extending like we've seen him uh in that first match for those platforms looking much better there's a the back throw Wow, reached on through with that up smash though. And just tossed that out. Almost got a little bit of a Eminem shield here. Got to roll on side, picked up with the forward smash. 
push back a nice smart decision there with that first cross slash that was really incredible just to push back on patui and re safely return back down the stage try to roll on through not gonna over approach calling out jump here Tenchi's patience absolutely on point right here he, he's definitely respecting the spacing as you should uh, off that force match goes for the cross up and gonna push him away across stage is still not gonna kill him here at 149 and you see him standing just a little bit in front of that platform making it difficult for bumo to uh, come on back down Got the back throw here. Going to chase this a little bit. There's the faint jump. Patui pushing him back off, though. Over approach just a tad. There's that down B. Still not going to shield break, though. Got the drag down there and the jab. And barely living it through shield right here. Bumo looking and fishing for that shield break again, though. Oh, the neutral get up. Picked up by the up smash. What nice stuff here from Bumo. And holding on tight to the lead here. Really using that dash attack. Not only as a way to get extra damage in but it allows actually movement back underneath that platform and tenchi just not able to do anything about it trying to get patui fit in lays out poison cloud and having the easiest time returning to stage even able to work back through the bears tenchi just tosses the bear he hits it on shield he just respects the stage allows him to come on back gotta keep that strong pressure game going especially against plant plays out patui poison cloud ready to go there's the down b what a parry though from tenchi and they reach on over through the fair. Still not going to kill here at 180, though. And Plane can definitely air dodge right back down to that blast zone. That would be so uh, nice for a recovery option. Wow, well, tried to get the approach on through and they answer back. Good stuff from Tenchi. Keeping it uh, very close right here. At 75%. Hopsy up B just going to return to that plat. Bumo trying to look for the follow-up. And there's the Patui trade. Plays out forward smash. Not going to take a punish off of it, though. Tenchi trying to get a little bit of a momentum going, but going to take the Poison Cloud, and at 109, plays out the limit. Pops the up, going to return right back on through. Not going to overapproach. Auto-cancel fair, though. Most unfortunate, and down smash got him. Got to make his way back on the stage here. There's Poison Cloud, looks for the up smash. Bondage on through, and tried to get that up tilt. Oh, the grab, not able to do it. Just a little bit poor on the spacing right there. Actually ran past him, and Tenchi... Hopping the up B, but that might be it. What a spot dodge, though, and keeping the dream alive right now. Pops the up B, only going to get a first hit. Chases him out with fair right now. Tenchi trying to hold on to it. Working through with a little bit of shield baiting. Almost taking the hit from the forward smash here. Bumo having a hard time getting that final hit that he needs. I right, got the cross slash. Going to chase him out. Lays out for the back air. Trades him off the uh, down B, though. Shielding on through, looking for it off the top of that plat. Lays out forward smash again. There's the drag down there into the up throw. And that is going to do it. Bumo moving on right here. Almost able to bring that back man uh so close there so close all right so it looks like we're gonna be getting jibs and mustang uh back on over here too uh stream Just to update you guys as well, Bumo going to be taking on Kusanagi. Uh, Ice Water Rick uh, seems to be the local uh, legend around here, taking most of the Heart of Smash tournaments. He's going to be taking on Mackie. We have uh, Braden taking on Nightmare. Two uh, Dallas boys up there uh, looking like they're trying to approach that top eight. Yellow Yellow chilling very comfortably there uh, towards the top of the loser side, but uh, quite a little bit to get through there for him. He's going to have to climb that upwards hill already. You know, Sonic versus Ganon. Um, wow, this is going to require some extreme patience here um, for Mustang, but uh, definitely going to be quite an interesting one for sure. All 
All right, and actually gonna rock the Palutena, not feeling it uh, with the Ganon in this matchup, and I'm not sure that I would personally either, so might be his uh, pocket there just to deal with things. And uh, we are about to go Sonic Speed up in here. Uh, we already saw Jibs uh, definitely comfortable with Smashville, as aggressive as he is here. So Mustang gonna catch it with the Nair, and we are riding a little bit of the train here, looking for the uh, two frame off the down tilt here. Jibs gonna answer back with the Spin Dash in for the fair. I was saying going with the get up attack really smart there and he's got lots of projectiles he can use to deal with uh the run in by jibs there just got to be very smart with the explosive flames and the auto ridicule there but it will certainly help him out here and oh no a little bit of a misstep there from jibs oh man most unfortunate right there that's gonna be sd gonna hop right on over and again here we go chug a choo choo we are riding the nair train and now follows up with the up airs here into the affair follow-up and i love the instant rar bear right there that was so smart for mustang already got him with the forward smash and holy goodness gracious he is absolutely on fire gonna teleport right back on through auto ridicule not gonna quite catch it but lays out back here and jibs having a hard time getting through uh this arsenal of what pal has got for him Mustang rolls on away, looking for a little bit of a fair here. And back air, not going to quite connect it out either. And just going to stay very, very patient right here. Mustang is actually uh, Ganon main. You might remember him, Zen, uh, from some of our streams. Um, kind of through the summer, through the winter. Um, but definitely one of the top Ganons. Uh, absolutely amazing player for sure. But rocking the Palu today uh, just to deal with the uh, Sonic. Approach not in, gets the Nair here. Plays that explosive flame, forcing for that lower recovery. Love the thought for the drag down there, but not able to get it. Hops over Minecraft, punch into a back air off the cross up. And uh, Mustang looking real strong right now. That's tough, especially for Jibs too. Like you you already lost, uh, you know, the, the stock off that SD. I, I think the best thing is like, okay, you're, you're going to take the loss on this game. Get yourself back together. Take a moment, breathe it in, and run it back uh, for the next game here. But it's looking pretty strong for Mustang. Jib's got a little bit of momentum, though. His best bet here is take in as much information as you possibly can. But uh, I don't know, man. He's he's He took something in between those stocks because he is uh, definitely on it. Giving the pressure on with the up air here. Mustang can get cocky right now. Gets auto ridicule off the uh, catch. They're going to work right back on through. Mustang just shielding, laying out. Uh, plenty of options here. Jib having a hard time. It gets the Nair punish into the up air for the follow-up again. And Jib's just going to air dodge down. Mustang with a very nice punish. Nice call out on the jump again. Mustang definitely thinking forward about three or four steps here. Hops right over. Definitely knows the forward smash is probably coming. Looking for the uh, two frame again. Jib's going to drop down a little bit lower, though. Uh, so nice mix up on the timing. No forward smash again. Mustang looking for the grab. The grab range, not what it used to be, though. Calls out for the uh, high up, up B. Not going to do it. Doesn't drop shield against that. Doesn't over approach either. Mustang definitely standing his ground so smartly. I think a lot of players like that over approach in there. And great stuff for Mustang. Going to be taken. Game number one. Jib's definitely trying to cover those options. He really feels like, you know, there's a lot of people that um, like to over approach inside off of a whiff or a shield. Uh, and he's covering that other option, but Mustang really showing uh, how great of a player he is. Definitely a veteran of the scene. Um, and he's got that patience, man. He is going to stand his ground and he doesn't have to approach. He can, he can just stand there. And guys, if you need to, here is a link to the bracket so you can see what's going on. I think we had 35 people here today, so pretty nice little bracket for sure. Here we go on to FD, and I, wow, I'm, su I'm surprised. Uh, Mustang actually wanted to go here, but feels confident, I'm sure. Going to auto ridicule, gets the shield, going to go for the jab. Just a little bit of a quicker option. Picks up with a fair, looking for the follow-up off the dash attack from that fair. Just not able to quite get it, but answering right on back here. You see him constantly answer back if he's able to shield uh, Spin Dash. He throws out back air, and he's trying to condition Jibs there against doing uh, that Spin Dash password past him into the cross-up back air. Most Sonics will do. Smart tech right there, though. I right, look for the dash tech in. Overstepped it a little bit, and Jibs with a big old punish. Looking much better off of this, and there's a two-frame. Not going to over-approach it off the ledge, though. Even though for a re-grab, I got him with dash attack. I like come on down and homie tag almost worked his way past it. Mustang with some great patience here though. Gibbs lays out back airs. 
Gets the approach in and not able to follow it up off that whiff in the grab. And Mustang just gonna take a step back. Went for the grab though. A big punch to the face though. Trying to get him out with the up B and great pressure game though. Not able to avoid uh, that up B off the uh, plat right there. I'm sorry, the ledge right there. Especially against Sonic, that's just not one of those characters you wanna you wanna fish for that for. And Dibs looking a little bit better. Spin dash into Nair. The guarantee at the low percent. Chase him out. There's a down throw. No follow up. Went for the fair. And answer him back big time here. Jib's looking really strong. Plays out Explosive Flame for a little bit of safety. Auto ridicule. Not going to quite connect it out. Got him off the throw here. And Mustang able to really get the grabs in there, but no uh, conversion from it at all. It is really struggling to get this kill here. Oh, wow. Picked up off uh, frame. The last frame of fair right there and the big uh, forward smash gonna do it right here and uh jib's making huge adjustments here in game uh number two like i said i'm not sure that i'd want to take sonic here uh to fd mustang finally getting the uh back here in here goes for the uh, tele cancel nair jibs works right on through it though mustang baiting it out staying in that ground like we've seen him do Gibbs answer right on back goes for the forward smash again still not able to get it Mustang gets the approach and gets the dash deck. Still not killing, though. And nice follow-up. He definitely knew that homing attack was coming. All right, goes for the uh, rising Nair off of the ledge here. Gonna avoid that. Oh, no! Jumped right into it! Tried to get a little bit of a late Nair there to build some damage. But Jib's all over it. Wow. What an answer back right there. I definitely think for Mustang, uh, having some platforms to work around is going to help him out just a bit. I really don't blame him for having the Palu, though, to deal with uh, Sonic. I, I cannot imagine that Sonic Ganon is even a, a slightly winnable matchup. You know, Mustang had a really nice game one. Jibs are really bringing around game two. Uh, so interesting to see the adjustments that both these players are going to make uh, going on here to game three. Going to go to Yoshi's. Uh, I, I think this is definitely the pick here for Mustang for sure. All right, looking immediately uh, for their auto reticule. Not able to get it though. Pops in there and just working right past him here. Jibs staying so safe off of it. Picks up the jump and here we go for the Nair train. Gonna cancel that. I love that he actually mixed it up uh, to fair off that third hit there and baited out that air dodge. So smart. Now jump here, Mustang. Just gonna turn right onto ledge. Try to go for the back air and Jibs just a little bit of hesitation there with that uh, spin dash. So smart. You see him mix up his timings quite a bit and he's definitely making big, big ground with it. Goes for the homie attack. There's a down tilt. Gets the dash attack. Use the actual slope of Yoshi's towards his advantage right there. That's a tough one to hit. Upside over gets the uh, late hit on the Nair though. Follows up with up air. Has a layout fair. Jibs is going to go right on through. The hardest part for Mustang is he's got to be smart out of shield where he's looking for those punishes off spin dash. And Jibs continues to change up his spacing and timing. So it's making it very, very difficult for him. Got to get that deck in. Jibs answer back with a fair. Mustang got to make some adjustments right here. Tries to go for the dash on in. Jibs. Spacing out, lays out the back air. Mustang finally able to get a dash tech, chases it with the up air. What a absolutely smart uh, air dodge, though. Mustang just going to wait it out and a little bit late on that down tilt for sure. Having a hard time really getting those ledge punches. Goes for the drop down, misses it, though. Went a little bit too low, and now he is on the wrong side of the uh, stage right now. Gibbs, again, there's that uh, spin dash into that back air for extreme safety. Trying to bait Mustang on in. Mustang able to get the uh, Nair right here. Trying to chase it out with the up air, but still nothing so far. And there's that mix up again into that homing attack. Smart explosive flame. And catches the roll inside with up smash. Holy goodness, Gibbs on fire right here. Mustang laying out forward tilt, trying to play the game, but oh my goodness, Gibbs with the bait again. Goes for the get up attack, so smart. That forward smash definitely would have been the end of the stock right there. Over approaching in, gets him with the affair though. Hops right over, looking for the back here. Jibs, timing and spacing is 
so important with that forward smash. He continues to use it in such a way. Mustang can't get approaches and get the punishes in. All right, and gets him off the nair here. Goes for the up air and definitely going to get the extra one. Tried to get off that top plat, but getting answered back with a little bit of a fair. And what a bring back right there. I mean, look at the deficit that he brought back on percentages right here. All right, Jibs got him off the spin dash into fair. Mustang goes with the drop down. Telly's right on through. Oh, fell right into that forward smash. So trying to answer back with a little bit of something. Try, trying to stay patient throughout this matchup. Very, very tough. All right, got dash attack. Jibs just going to reset it back to neutral. And that mix up in the homing attack. Mustang laying off shield almost every single time. Got to go for dash attack again. Hops over in there. Faded out that time. Look for the fair conversion. Got him with dash attack, though. His exchanges, though, he's having a very rough time here against Jibs. Rising there, though, hard to answer back to. The Mustang uh, definitely looking a little bit tighter right here. Starting to make adjustments. Gets him with the forward tilt, though. Plays that explosive flame. Wants to go for the drag. Oh, oh my goodness. Got him with the falling nair, though. Plays that explosive flame. He gets him with the same trap. And Jib's having a hard time returning to the stage. Oh, no. He went the wrong way. Goodness. And Mustang definitely bringing it back right here. What momentum. I got the nair off of the uh, shield debate. Gets the approach with the dash attack. And Mustang starting to get the reads right here i don't know if he's got his number but something is going on right here jibs answer back though with the back air mustang trying to return onto the stage gonna roll on through jibs with the whiff grab Mustang, uh his patience is definitely paying off for him in huge huge uh dividends right now because he has been able to really bring this back and such a tight game Goes for the get up attack. Jibs baited out. Tried to get the second up air. Gets the third, though, off the descent back to stage. And a smart teleport, though. Love the mix up there. Shields on through. Tried to get the follow up. Jibs on the platform there. Misses the up air, though. Pops a single jab just to fill out the options there. Great shielding there from Jibs. Picked up on the back air, though. Mustang trying to bait it out. There's a forward smash. Missed the back air. Lays up the up air, though. Jibs going to cross him on up. Lays out explosive flame. And there's auto ridicule. Perfect stuff from Mustang right there. That's exactly what you got to do. Uh, he's over approached a lot. So that was really smart for him just to go for the guarantee. Tries to get the down air though. There's the back door. Still not going to kill here. At 135 goes for the drop down. Avoiding that up. He actually returns to the stage. Pops out the explosive flame. He gets the back part of it. On out that jump, man. He wants it so bad right here. Uh, two minutes left and both these guys. High pressure situation for sure. Pop the up smash though. Mustang gets the down air. Oh, he missed the tech. There was a hitty thing he could do right there. Mustang gonna clutch it out with a little bit of a nice arm pump there for the win. And he's gonna be moving on. What a clutch. What a clutch. Wow. All right, guys, next up, we got Bumo and Kusanagi coming on down to the stream here. Looks like you got Ice Water Rick, Mackie, Braden, and Nightmare uh, doing their thing as well. Here you are, Mr. Owl, just for you. Steve. 
Alright, looks like Kusanagi gonna be pulling out the Steve again. Uh, I, I think we, oh, I'm sorry, gonna be pulling out the Richter at this point. Yeah, I definitely think the Cloud versus Brana plant gonna be a tough one. Yeah, the, the miss, the miss tech. Big stage. Alright, here we go. Kusanagi pulling it out here with the Richter. Gonna hop out right on through, calling out those jump options. And this can be a tough one for Plant. Uh, Plant's definitely gonna have to stay a little bit more aggressive. And that trapping gonna be a little bit tougher. Love the uh, fall off of the uh, plat right there into uh, the Holy Water. And continue to push out some pressure there with Cross. Holy Water out again. And, um, you know, Kusanagi really gonna be using a lot of those tools to apply great pressure back on the plant. And Plant's just gonna have a really, really uh, tough time getting it going here. Covering the options here. Love the double hop affair. Cross out and Axe forcing him down on there. The drop down Holy Water. He is having such a hard time dealing with that. Kusanagi looking for that back air as well. Not able to get it. Lays out for the back air again. Great patience there from Bumo though. Having to roll on through. Goes for the down tilt just to reset it back to neutral. Catches him with the cross and lays out that Holy Water again. You know, he's working underneath the plat so smartly. And it's making it so difficult for Bumo to get anything going. Went for the short Axe throw and caught him out with the fair. And not able to make his way back on through. Try to pop on through. Looking for the uh, down tilt. Lays out fair here just a bit, but not able to get anything going. And there's that back throw. And Bumo definitely going to be looking to get him off stage. That is, of course, where Richter and Simon are extremely weak. Uh, and being able to get such great ledge trapping, especially a plant, uh, that's what he's going to be looking for this entire time. Are trying to avoid, uh, man, that Patui there. Made his way on through. Throws out cross down B. Not going to be able to do it. And you see him throw out Axe just a little bit early. He's covering those options right there. So he's trying to get him pushed outside towards that ledge. Covering that inside option really, really smart. And he's going to be able to continue to ledge trap like crazy there. Takes that step back and uh, that perfectly tippered forward smash at that point. He's going to be able to uh, continue to follow up off that. Race up to Bumo though with the answer back off that down B. That's a tough one to do right there. Got Cross ready to go. Tries to catch him with the axe. Though. Lays out back here. Still not able to get it going, but down tilt. They're definitely quite quick enough. And had him in the uh, situation there with the holy water. Axe ready to go. Pops that out again. Catches him off the back part of it. What a read there with that angled fair. So smart. Axe working its way on through. Lays out for the jump. Catches him again off the second one. And here it is. Uh, Richter slowly chipping away here. Plant. Laid out four tilt. Catches the jump at a disadvantage. And you can see it on Bumo's face right now. He is having such a hard time right here. Calls him immediate return for it. Goes for the throw. And gonna get him. Holy goodness gracious. This is what it's all about here for Richter. Is that great lead shabbing. All right, goes for the down tilt, answers back with the nair, hops right on over, returns to the platform, tried to lay out the back air, but a good pickup from Bumo here. We had to roll on through, and the answer back again, and both of these guys is making it impossible to get back off the stage. What a comeback there from Bumo. You see him look over with that nod of approval. All right, Kusanagi picking him up with the nair right here, pops it on again, and a let's go shield just a bit earlier. Nice bait out, throws out cross the cover jump option, axe ready to go, smart dash stack though. Uh, gonna reset it on back to neutral. Trying to get that big damage in, and holy goodness, Kusanagi a little bit uh, anxious to get that big damage in. And Bubo can kind of wait out a few options there. If he uses down B or Pratui, it's going to change up his momentum off stage, and he continues to use that towards his advantage to avoid that strapping right there. Nice hands are back from Kusanagi, but Bubo definitely making big adjustments here. Hopping right out of that down air. Looking for the up B follow-up a little antsy, but pops the up smash off that top platform. Uh, no way Kusanagi is going to be returning to that. Went for the dash stack off of that. Smart use of super armor here. Got the advantage. Kusanagi tossing out the cross here. Goes for the neutral get up. Rolls away. Tosses out holy water. Real close up too. And went for the mix up there. Love the faint jump. Waiting for cross to come on back. Gets the hit in there. Converts it into the back here. Axe going low. Gets him. Not able to get the follow up though. Bumo off stage right here. Not able to cover that top plat option. Just a little bit too slow after tossing that axe. And down beat can be a little bit more troublesome. Uh, if Kusanagi doesn't have that cross out to answer back. He's gonna wait up until he goes for the neutral get up. Up throw, not gonna quite kill him, I don't think. Oh no, it did! Oh my goodness, and that is gonna be it right there. Bumo taking game number one. Poor Richter. Poor Richter is a midweight. Oh man.
Uh, just to update you guys on losers down here, we got Jackson Tenchi doing their thing. Uh, we also got Ted and Yellow Rello about to face it out again. Uh, Squiffy and Tico, uh, Sid and Jay fighting out. And of course, Jibs uh, just got knocked on down there uh, by Mr. Mustang. Of course, we got Icewater Rick and Mackie and Braden and Nightmare still up here on the winner side of things. And uh, we should be getting them on my stream in just a bit. Lens trapping. Yeah, from both sides. Wow. Yeah, Boomo with the comeback right there. Great play. All right, here we go on over to town and the city and uh richter definitely gonna be liking a little bit of that spacing right there that extra platform can cause some uh you would think would cause some issues for him for his ledge trapping but that axe just goes right on through it and he can continue to control it just like you saw with that fair right there uh kusanagi you're gonna be looking for the adjustments right here laying up that up air trying to get him with the fair Bumo gonna go with a little bit of a smart fastball and rolls on right in lay out the holy water look for the back air but it auto canceled Cross right on deck and calling out the air dodge inside with Axe. Taking a step back and wow, Patui still working its way on through. Now, interesting um, collision you'll see right there. So um, because Poison Cloud is considered an active hitbox, it will clank with um, that holy water right there. And that, that's so interesting because you'll see it just bounce. All right, got him off it in a quick follow up in the forward smash. And that is some bread and butter if I saw some. Working right on through Patui. Trying to avoid the down B, though. That seems to be his toughest uh, obstacle right here. And Bumo calls him out again. And keeping it close right here. All right, tossing out Axe. Got some great shield damage in here. I don't know if it's best for Bumo to stay on the stay, or I'm sorry, the ledge right there. Because, man, oh, man, Kusanagi building great damage. Those plats are not really going to be his friend. All right, tosses out across forward instead of backwards. Though. Not going to get the intangibility. Gets it back here, though. Throws out Holy Water and the aggressiveness paying off for him. Wow. And he got the play he was looking for right there. Throws out fair for safety. Forward tilt and nice little check right there off shield. Yeah, very, very smart check off shield right there. Looking for back here. Nice little jab lock, though. And hops right over that down beat. Definitely expecting it this time and making big time adjustments. Toss it out cross, gets him with the late fair, lays out axe again. His best bet right there, you see him doing it, is he's using Axe to get him baited uh, to one direction or the other. He throws Axe to control ledge and then goes for the follow-up option. Almost able to make that air dodge away. That's a tough one. Smart Nair and going to answer right back to uh, that Holy Water with Batui. Looking for the grab. Answers back with the uh, forward tilt. Looking for that trap situation. Not able to get it. And you see out of shield, he doesn't really look for a punish. He takes a step back and... Even though he gives up a little bit of stage, he's able to gain it back with as much um, long range distance tools as he has and catches the jump right there. Look for the down air converter. That's a tough one to hit. And that down be catching the jump again. My goodness, gonna go ahead and expend his jump here. Grabbing that ledge, goes for the neutral get up again. Lays out that holy water, hops right over, lays out back here. Good spacing off of that too. And the ax reaches through. Holy goodness. Great drag down there, but a cross gonna save him and he gets him with the up air man that axe created such a bad situation from them holy goodness what is going on guys welcome hope you're having a great day here's the actual link to it uh that is the one you're going to be needing right there Kusanagi definitely making very strong adjustments right there. All right, going on to a small battlefield, and my goodness, Bumo going to switch it on right over to Hero. Uh, definitely a smart choice. I love the side B. Uh, there's a lot of extra pressure, and he can 
he's got plenty of great options against Richter. Bounce can completely turn it around. Um, and you see the step back there off that uh, jab reset. Very, very smart. But this is definitely going to be a much tougher matchup. Uh, calls out for the jump there. Not able to get anything going. And made his way through with uh, that down tilt. Almost had the thwack ready, but... Uh, Hero definitely gonna be able to make that back with the zoom. Uh, he's gonna be looking for that quite a bit off stage, but he's got a good chance of pulling it out. Controlling some options right here, catching the jump there onto that platform. Just shielding on through and try to look for the forward smash a little bit uh, too early off of it. Rolls behind, lays out down tilt. Great pressure game here from Bumo though, using all those projectiles, making it difficult uh, for Kusanagi to really get anything going. You know, forward tilt is such a good check that uh, the biggest thing for Bumo is how he reacts to it. And Kusanagi continuing to hold out and uh, call out those jumps almost every time. Trying to get something going. There's a little bit of a trade, though. Coming on back to the stage here. Trying to go for that uh, pickup off of it. Gets the fair using the axe. And bounce is definitely going to change the game. And you see him use it. He hopped right into the cross right there to push that right back on through. Kusanagi definitely got to make adjustments, though. It just waited out. Tried to call out Zoom. Not able to get it, though. His biggest thing in this uh, part with bounce active is he's got to be able to push him out with fair and bear. But great pickup off that jump off ledge and going to be taking stock number one right here. Rolls right into it. Kaboom. And that's going to be stock number one right there. Tossing a little bit of a taunt too. Picks him up with a little bit in there. Cross ready to go. And he hung on ledge just a bit too long. And Kusanagi starting to pick up on the timings a little bit better. Uh, what Bumo's going for right here. Rolls on through. Going to get the up beak very quickly. Great stuff from Kusanagi though for DI wise. Wow. Uh, gets him of a jab. Got to be careful of that uh, neutral get up in place there. Tries to call out the fair again. Looking for a little bit of space here. It got accelerate. Ready to go. Gets it down throw. Not able to convert into fair. Wow. Kusanagi with the call out that back here. That was incredible. All right. Going to respect his uh, recovery though and layout cross. Bounce ready to go again though. But converts it from the downer into up B. What a play right there. Kusanagi with some conversions right here, though. But a nice answer back from Bumo there off that back air. Look for the grab. Checks him out with forward tilt again, though. Axe ready to go and forcing that jump off there. You see him take that step back a little bit farther from mid stage, And he is controlling this game right now. Bumo trying to get a little bit of something going. Kusanagi with the call out. He's got to work his way back on down towards that ledge. And that is most unfortunate. And that's exactly the game that Kusanagi's trying to play right here. Really going for the big play, though. Got a little bit of a buff right here. Tried to look for it, but spaced him out very smartly with the fair. And not able to get the tether, though. And still very possible here for Bumo, though. Kusanagi definitely losing a little bit of momentum right here. Catching him on shield. Trying to control the stage. And looking for the call out off of that. Pops the uh, down air into there. Not able to get it. Oh, be a little bit too quick for him, though. Got cross ready to go. Looking for the drawback in off of it. And looking for that conversion into the kill. Bumo looking for the approach on in. Not able to get it. Bounce is the game changer here. Smart though, Kusanagi definitely realizing that he's looking to bait that hit back off the bounce from the cross. So he's able to avoid it out. All right, and a little bit of a misstep off that air dodge right there. Gonna go ahead and psych on up here. Goes for the close up cross and picks him up off the roll off the backside with the down smash. Trying to get that run up grab, but Kusanagi not going for it. Smart heal though in between. Calling out the jumps here. Bumo return it back on through and that bounce is ready to go. Gets him off the forward throw here. Kusanagi just looking for that uh, forward air. Oh, no. Got the zoom, though. And oh, no. He zoomed right back into the stage. Oh, my goodness. Oh, no. Oh, no. You hate to see that. Oh, no. Barely the stage. The stage gimped him. Oh, no. Oh, no. You hate to see that. Oh my God. Wow. Wow. Man, and Kusanagi barely pulling that one out, guys. Wow. Oh, wow. Jeez, jeez, jeez. Well, anyway, guys, thanks for tuning in. My name is Wumbo. You can catch me on Twitter at Wumbo underscore official. Yes, Wumbo underscore official underscore again. So hopefully I will see you guys at some future tournaments. But we are still going strong here. And I think we got Ice Water Rick taking on Naki, if I recall. Let's get on over there.
All right, here we go with Mackie and Ice Water Rick. Uh, Ice Water Rick, clearly uh, one of the big champions around here and got a pretty nasty snake from what I hear. So excited to see it out here. All right, tries to go in a little bit of a grenade trade off of that. Got to go for the forward tilt, not able to get it. You know, that that uh, <laughs> that miss zoom might be one of those things that goes on Yeet Smash. I hate to say it, man, man. All right, so uh, tosses it out with the grenade there, got the back here and looks for the follow-up. Off of the up air, but having a hard time really getting it going here, Rose. Uh, gonna uh, pop right on over and gets him with the late forward tilt. Really smart decision making here so far. Mackie gonna answer back with a little bit of a razor leaf, though. Got him off back air, looking for the up air. Smart stuff. C4 not gonna save him in the air dodge. Gonna build some extra damage right here. Definitely baiting it out and looking for the grenade pull here. Got the trade. Look for the follow up there, but gonna respect it. Definitely didn't quite have the spacing he's looking for. And a nice little single jab into up tilt. Still not able to do it, but forward tilt uh, pushes him right off here and going to be working that Nikita back on through the circle of death. Holy goodness. All right, and the C4 explode. Oh, no. The SD is real right now. You hate to see that, though. All right, looking for a little bit of the fair and puts it back off with some bears here. I like Squirtle definitely um, against Snake. He's got just great speed. Fast frame data. I think that is a very smart move here. Uh, there's a nice down throw and a smart grenade pull. You see him uh, face it backwards uh, towards his opponent, and that is so that grenade is going to clink and explode. Really smart push off there with Water Gun, though. Recatching grenade, cooking it out just a little bit here. Looking for the approach on in. Got grenade, throws it on away and looks for the down smash, though. Mortar is ready to go. Picks him up off that platform. Mackie's definitely got to be careful how he continues to fall through there because he is getting picked up like crazy. I right, look for the approach on in. Makes his way back onto the stage and pops the up B here. I right, got the fair ready to go, though. Grenade is uh, going to trade it out and uh, makes the pick up with dash attack, though. C4 right there. Just going to go ahead and toss it out. Lays out for the grenade into the back here. Still not able to get it, but ultimately went out with Cypher, weirdly enough. And a nice little tether cancel. Uh, going to switch over to Charizard, but still off stage off that grab, though. And some traps are out, but still made his way back to neutral. Clutch is back on over to Squirtle here, feeling that matchup for sure. There's a grenade trade, though. Look for the back air, but a big up tilt. Going to do it right in the face there. I swear to Rick, looking pretty solid right here. Looks for dash attack in. Mackie able to answer back here a little bit. Razor Leaf coming on in. Not going to over approach it, though. Trying to get the drift back fair. Lays out Razor Leaf instead. Pops right over. No falling uh, back air either. Uh, I swear to Rick saying perfectly uh, out of range right there, making it so tough. And that tether cancel, uh, really going to get out of a little bit of trapping right there. Overall, you know, it's, it seemed like that wasn't really going to do much for him, but he worked his way out of it very smartly. Got to give it to him. There's a little bit of grenade in disadvantage. Drops that C4. Gets it, though. Wow, wow. And goes for the Nikita drop. Uh, missed it. But, uh, hey, nice trade. We take those, don't we? There's the a single forward tilt. Good answer back from Mackie here. Having a hard time getting that kill, though. But Snake is quite a heavy boy. Nice mix up for the air dodge here. Looking for that up air almost every time. And Snake with Rage, a very scary thing. Got him with the C4 here. Going to go with the back part of it. Gets him with the grab. Definitely the down throw. Got him with the read and went for the single jab into the grab. Reset. Not able to get it. Got him off stage. Though. Tosses out Razor Leaf. Going to probably chase him here with the up air. Got him. And just like that, we're on the final stock here. Ice Water Rick going to be looking for a little bit of a confirm here. Uh, not quite at the percent, um, but that single jab setup that he's doing, I love him feeling out those options. That's so smart. All right, going to go for uh, maybe the jab lock. Nope, not able to get it, though. Good stuff from Aki with the step back right there. Got him and toss that grenade on to cover the option right there. Super smart. Looks for the nair. Not able to get it, though. There's the down throw in up tilt. No, gets the forward tilt instead. And just like that, Ice Water Rick taken. Game number one.
It looks like guys, we're gonna be switching over to the DK here. The Oonga Boonga is real. And uh, interesting, he wants to make a switch though. That was quite, a, that was quite a close game there, but uh, maybe feeling want to get a good. I, I don't know what this DK is all about here. Let's see, but going with uh, the Grape Ape. All right, looking for the dash attack in. Not able to quite get it though. He is dash attacking like crazy. Holy goodness. DK with a, the worst disadvantage in the game. So he's definitely going to be uh, quite smart at what he chooses to do right here. Looking for the dash attack. Pops on over into lane up Forto. Got the grab though. There's the uh, throw into up air. Yeah, definitely guaranteed at that percent. And he's going to be taking some big time damage here. Dealing with Squirtle and Ivysaur is definitely going to be the tough part here. Got to watch that shield bidding though. Lays it out up for the back air here. Smart stuff so far and nice little mix up there with the uh, wave landing back onto uh, the platform there looking for the grab again Mackie having to re-grab these ledge here pick up by the bear goes for the deep nair gets him with a little bit of the up b though and try to get the spike Mackie smartly returning to the stage though answers back with the back air and picks him up as he tries to fall right back down the stage here I swear to Rick using that platform to his advantage big time there's the back throw look for the forward air extension and not able to get it and Mackie making him pay for it big time there uh, with that follow-up and up air. Looking for the grab again. Hops right over. Nair to the face, though. And he's going to be riding that train for a bit. Air dodges back on through and goes for the back throw. Still not able to kill, though. Wow, trying to get these down airs here and having a rough time. Uh, come back down to the stage. Mackie going to make him take some percentages for that. Finally able to get some space there with the uh, forward tilt. Got the banana slam a punch ready to go on deck. Finally gets the down B into the back air. Still not able to kill, though. Struggling to kill it right here. Goes for the uh, super armor with the banana slama. Coming on down with the side B though. And this was, n I'm thinking, not the way to go. Mackie is running this game right now. Popsy up beyond the ledge. Got to fall right on through. And finally picks him up off the jump there with the up tilt. Gonna rock it with a little Charizard and switch right back over uh, to Squirtle. Just wanted that spacing. All right, pops a down smash. And because that move has almost no burnout time, he can just toss forward tilt out of it uh, almost for free. It's a good coverage option, especially if your opponent's hanging on ledge. All right, looking for a little bit of near out of shield here. Still having a hard time getting any momentum going. Tried to dash attack on in. Look for the nair off the uh, fast fall. Still not able to get it. Mackie has got him all uh, under his control right now laid out for the force match finally able to get a good attack not able to get the grab and back throw gonna do it right here i'm i'm still contemplating the pick here what why did he switch over to dk i'm, I'm so confused maybe he wanted to see a little bit of a mix-up in strategy i'm not sure i'm gonna go for a little bit of it and try to call out the jump there not gonna go for it though looking for that spike in that big play goes for a dash attack throws that jab for a little bit of uh, safety trying to uh, get him to drop shield right there uh, but he is just not doing it gets a grab and there's the up throw into the up air still not gonna connect though at that percent goes deep and gets in there tries to get the side b it's still not able to Mackie almost able to answer back with a down air though calls him out off the jump approach here Shielding on through, lays out for the back air, got him off stage here. Mackie with the tether cancel again, switches the Charizard, comes on back, lays out Nair, and uh, Ice Water Rick finally got a little bit of momentum right here. Only got a midway charge, uh, the Banana Slamma. Comes on down and answered right back though, out of shield. Push back off with the forward tilt here, and this is almost kill percentage here, especially for Charizard. There's a flamethrower going for the up smash, barely missed it. I uh, gotta get that cargo throw, but not gonna quite kill. Barely missed the grab though, my goodness. Got him off the dash attack, though. Going to charge on up for a little bit of super armor. Goes for the uh, slams on the ground there with the down B. Still not able to get it, though. And goes for the neutral get up. Man, Mackie's covering so many options against him. He is having a hard time making his way on through. All right, goes for the get up attack right here. Gets him with the back air. And going to close it out. But at 146, this is not looking good for him to be taking this game. Squirtle pushes back off of the back air, tosses um, the water gun the wrong way, but not going to matter. Mackie with the big forward smash. And here we go to game number three.
All right. Here we go on over to game number three here with Matt Keen, Ice Water Rig, and going on over to Midgar, too. Yeah, interesting pick on the DK there for game number two. So I'm definitely uh, going to be enjoying a little bit more of the uh, snake here. But wow, Mackie making some big adjustments and probably going to be using a lot of the uh, thought processes and the data that he got from that last game there. And I just want to Rick off stage, not where Snake wants to be, lays out for the back air here. Trying to control that plat there. Those plats are so far away from mid stage though that Snake can get a little bit of use out of them, but not as much as you would really think. All right, gets a dash attack here. Looking for a little bit of up tilt to push back off. Plays out grenade, but not really controlling any of the stage. Goes for the dare float too. And goes for that uh, really early bear. Uh, just to allow him to touch back down on stage because that hitbox is active the entire time. Um, but not able to get it here. Mackie looking like he's made some very nice adjustments so far. Goes for the forward smash and uh, the spacing. Absolutely awesome on that. Mortar comes on down. Oh no, got the trade he was looking for off the approach in there. And that is most unfortunate there. At 102, that kill. Wow. I laid him out for the back air. Fastfall bear while holding grenade is a pretty, pretty safe option. Uh, sometimes you'll even detonate the grenade depending on the, what option your enemy throws, but also the fact that you can sit there and hold shield after and get the grenade explosion. I guess water rig gonna take a little step through, gets a dash attack, holding that grenade backwards, lays the C4, gonna go ahead and pop that bad boy over, reach catches the grenade and gets it, but oh no, we missed the up air conversion. All right, looking for the dodge through and going for the uh, back air. Wow. Wow. I don't know how he got that up till fast enough out of Nikita, but somehow uh, by the smash gods, he pulled that out. Man, oh man. C4 trained it out here and Maki uh, falling apart here slowly. This is looking really, really tough for him right now. All right, no faint jump gonna make its way on through. Pops the sight for a little bit earlier, but picks him up with the force man. That killed him. Wow, oh wow. And just like that, we have a game still on our hands here. Ice Water Rick, uh, definitely over approach right there. Ren right inside. All right, pops a, a little bit of a grenade pull there and self explosion, helping him build some extra damage here. Mackie definitely loving that. Pushes back on through with a little bit of forward tilt. Plays out the grenade wall, and uh, yeah, side B gonna do some big damage back to him. Trying to answer on back, but mortars and grenades making it really tough. And that's exactly what Snake wants. I mean, he wants to continue to get those damage trades. He's going to be living for a long time. Nikita out and got to make his way back on through. Goes for the side. He's going to cancel out. And up be not able to make it back. And that Nikita going to help Ice Water Rig. And he is going to be moving on. That is quite a toughie right there. All right, and here we go with uh, Brayden and Nightmare. Uh, you guys may be a little bit familiar with Nightmare. Uh, one of the folks uh, actually from uh, from my stream. Uh, so if you tune into that one, uh, you definitely know him as Digital Nightmare, but uh, really, really great at Richter. And we're about to see it go down here. Kind of take home some of that big money today.
All right, so Brandon taking on Nightmare. Back on to PS2 and uh oh my it says hi Wumbo, that is right. Wow, oh wow. Well he is uh, ready to go right here and hi to you as well, Mr. Nightmare. Alright, tossing out uh for a little bit of it and uh works his way on through, gonna get the uh, holy water here, trying to cross it up with the uh forward tilt. Get some of the down tilt here. And you know the biggest thing that I know that Nightmare does is he will uh continue to not only space things out, but he's gonna be downloading that data the entire time. So what I mean by that is once he starts down tilting and once he starts calling out aerials, he's gonna start using that holy water and that cross to really help him get his conversions that he wants to close out on the street, uh, the stock right here. And guys, if you would like a link to the bracket, it's gonna be that one that I just posted All right, right there. All right, Waco, gonna push him back on out. Brandon finally got him in arson, really tough right here. Picks him up with the holy water and there is the downer. Love the, tossed out the ax and got him right there. Didn't go for the up B though. I right, spot dodge it through, tries to go for the down smash and gets him with the down smash again. Not gonna quite kill it out. Trying to call it the aerial option here. Interesting ledge trapping though. Actually gonna play really aggressive off stage right here. Toss the holy water and he's gotta re grab that ledge and that is looking for the down smash. Back throw might just do the job, but no arson living it out right here. And uh, pushing back that axe there with a little bit of a counter. Goes for the close up holy water, calls him out with the back air and gonna close it out. Such a mix up on ledge trapping. It's not something you normally see from most Richters. They're not gonna run down and do Nair drop down off stage, but a uh, nightmare feeling it. Answering back with down tilt and uh, Brandon having a hard time really getting it going. The pressure game from nightmare intense right here. Went for the jab, calls out the jump there, looking for the Nair. And Arsene already back out here again, man. I got him with the uh, back here. Should be able to close him out. Oh no, missed the uh, follow up there. Off that high recovery. Definitely going to be looking to go for the tether. All right, toss it out. Axe got that uh, holy water ready to go. And Nightmare just working it out here. Trying to wait out our sin, but Waco, Mr. Brandon, reaching on through with that back air. And to close out stock. Got the down air and off the projectile. Going to bounce right on through. Cross not really going to be able to do anything here. Tosses out again. And there is that holy water. Checking him out with the uh, forward tilt. His usage of downer is really smart, especially off shield. He's just able to jump cancel it and uh, return back to neutral. Miss that back air uh, push though. All right, goes for a forward tilt and Brandon not uh, got the parry, but didn't approach past it. Plays out holy water, looking for cross again. Not able to throw it backwards though. Joker just a little bit too fast, but when he can, it's worthwhile for uh, Simon and Richter to throw it backwards so they can get that intangibility off of it. Calls out the jump here, gonna roll on through. Rolls back again and spot dodges away. Down tilt, really, really smart here. Nightmare playing such strong zoning right here. Brandon starting to make the adjustments and there is that cross uh, coming on through and the intangibility, definitely, definitely helpful. Got to lay out forward tilt, goes for holy water. Got to go for it again, but it wasn't quite off the stage right there. And Brandon really working through um, all of these uh, traps right now. Picks him up off a of fair, had to spin the jump and the gun gonna gimp him out right there. Wow, oh wow. All right, trying to uh, call him out onto that plat there, but here is a little bit of up air drag down and the it's classic Joker combo, the double up air into up B. Nice stuff, gonna build some great meter from that across here. Looking to call out the jumps here, got him with the holy water into the fair, still not able to close out the stock here. I love his usage of rebel guard, it's very, very smart. Uh, he's able to uh, not only build meter, but send those, some of those projectiles back towards him. And Nightmare trying to make his way on back and a nice nair there for extra damage, but he went a little bit too deep for it. And Nightmare here at 89%. Push back off with a fair, reaches back through with the bear, calls out the jump and a nice move right there with the dare. That was so smart for him to return back to stages a little bit quicker. All right, Holy Water ready to go, gets the grab, has him off stage right here. Going for the faint jump, shields that through. Tried to pick him up off the jump with Holy Water. And Arsene ready to go smart uh, projectile to push back and regain a little bit of neutral. Goes for down tilt, chases him out. Definitely going to go forward throw. And a nice mix up for Dare. Makes his way on through. Jumps right off ledge though. Tosses out up air just to cover that jump option. And there's that bounce off the Holy Water. And he actually used that towards his advantage, but not going to matter. And Brandon going to be taking game number one right here.
I think honestly, Brandon just made really great plays and really great adjustments. So biggest thing for Nightmare right here, um, you know, Brandon really working through a lot of the follow-ups um, and working through a lot of the projectile setup. So Nightmare's definitely got to play a very patiently if he wants to continue to do things. He's looking for a lot of forward tilt checks and he's not able to get it. And Brandon just doing his thing, man, getting the approaches in. Nightmare push him out with the up B though. Looking for the dash stack off of that. Look for the downer follow-up. Just going to jump cancel. I tried to go for the second one and uh, going to shoot a little bit of uh, gun damage here. Makes his way back up there, tries to jump off stage, and Brandon catching him almost every single time here. Nice pickup with the up tilts here, following up with up air, not able to connect anything out. Looking for a little bit of shield baiting, though, and that Holy Water making it a really tough for Brandon to make his way inside. Um, I gotta give it to Nightmare, though. His conversions off of that are super smart, and a nice follow-up off that dare there, too. On out for the jumps, lays it out, forward tilt, not gonna quite do it here. Really wants that jump, man. A uh, gun gonna help him out. Nice catch though with the up B. Plays out the axe here. Smart counter, but picks him up with the fair. What a nice bait. And keeping that uh, things in mind from that last match, very, very super smart. Uh, calling out Rebel Guard as well to build some extra damage here. Gonna return right on through, jumps right over, and Brandon having the hardest time uh, getting him off stage here. You see Nightmare really mixing up what he's doing off stage. Uh, his timings there from jump off ledge, really, really good stuff. Looking for the conversion out of that, gets him off fair, and Brandon uh, trying to make his way back on through. Finally gets a dash stack here, not gonna kill. Rolls for the mix-up here. Brandon's still not able to do it. Wants him to roll inside off the fair. Nightmare going to uh, not overextend and just reset it back on through. Gets the cross-up bear off that top plat, though. And uh, saving his jump for something right here. Goes for the get-up attack. Rolls on away. And Brandon smothering him down and going to get that dash attack there. Got him with the down air there. No conversion, though. Brandon with a nice answer back and looking for that uh, extra up air. Nice trade off the down air, though, into the up air. That definitely worked out quite well for Nightmare. Smart up B, gonna catch that jump. Laid out cross, wants him to go for the low option, and there it is again. Really controlling options so well. Got him with it, he's gotta re-grab ledge right here. Yeah, and look for the down smash. It didn't air dodge back in though. Wow, should've went for the forward smash, strangely enough. Gonna push out right off here. And smart projectile there from Brandon, regaining uh, neutral. Oh no! A little bit of a missed DI right there, and gonna be uh, losing the stock right here. Keeping it very, very strong, though. Only at 85% uh, here. All right, looking for the Nair. Not going to drop shield, though. Taking some nice damage. Love the drag down up here. Trying to get back through. And a little bit of a panic down here. Goes out cross to cover the option. Down air getting big time work. Make his way back onto the platform. Just going to roll on the way. Down tilts back onto the other platform. Crossing him back up. And Brandon over approaching. And finally able to get the space he was looking for. Pushes back off with forward tilt. And he's really using these platforms towards his advantage. And goes for that drop down one and not able to make his way back just a little bit too far away. And Nightmare here on the right. Uh, Brandon here on the left. Calls out for cross and good uh, trades here from Brandon. He's definitely made the adjustment there. Um, Nightmare looking for that down air almost every single time. And that nair just a little bit too quick for him. Push it back. Holy water going to pop up B though off the approach. Nice step back there. Cross coming back. What a conversion, though. Got him at 114. Still got to get close it out. I'll be a little bit too quick for him. And Joker having a hard time hanging on the ledge right there. Pops it and goes for the up B. Off the cross up right here. Trying to close out this game here. Goes for the back here. A little bit too close. Brandon staying very stoic and patient here. Goes for the projectile follow up. Nice uh, punish there. Trying to shield on through. Drop shield off the dash attack. Nightmare rolling away. Shield through. Gets the up B here. Lays out Axe, trying to force him back towards the ledge here. Called out the jump, not able to get it. Gun, gonna work him out. Down air, gonna bounce off right here. And man, oh man, having the hardest time. Got the Nair, though, into the up east. Still not gonna close out the stock. Lays out the Holy Water, calls out the jump there. But Brandon able to work it through with the dash attack. And got an air dodge through. Jumps right over. Picks him up on the back air. That's gonna do it. And man, oh man, Brandon with some nice gameplay there at the end. Clutching it out. And he is gonna be moving on. So it looks like up here, guys, we do have Mustang taking on Kusanagi. Icewater Rick about to take on Brandon. And finally down here, losers. We got Mackie taking on Tenchi. Uh, looks like uh, Nightmare going to be taking on Yellow Rello. 
Jibs, uh, knocking down Squiffy. Like I said, guys, we're gonna go straight into Mustang and Kusanagi doing their thing. And uh, here we are, guys, at winner's uh, quarterfinals. Welcome on in, guys, to Hardest Smash here at Nexus Esports. We got the Spring Cup going down with a $500 prize pot. That's some good money, guys. That's some great, great money. So hopefully, if you are interested, please check out Nexus Esports. I know, I know. Please check out Nexus Esports um, if you're looking to uh, get into some Smash events. I believe that they are going to be uh, hosting uh, weeklies and some of these bigger events uh, pretty often so please please uh check them out they're awesome and if you haven't already hit that follow button for them all right uh if you are looking for me uh and you don't know who i am my name is wumbo i'm a smash ultimate obviously commentator um i also run a lot of uh online events as well uh so if you're interested you can check me out on twitter at wumbo underscore official underscore yeah so you got knocked down into losers um who was that against yeah, I, I kind of forgot who that was against already. Let's see. Oh, you got knocked down by Jibs, a Sonic. Uh, it was it was a 2-0. It was a 2-0, interestingly enough. Um, but yeah, he's going to be taking on Nightmare. They are playing friendlies a little bit earlier, uh, so that was fun to see. But uh, yeah, we're going to get it going here in just a moment. Thank you guys for voting on Twitter. We're in the Mickey Mouse mask, as you can see. You're welcome. You're welcome. And uh, let's uh, move on over to a little bit of uh, battling here. Yeah, poor Rillo getting shambled in Central Texas. Ah, uh, nah, he's got that loser run. All right, here we go, Mustang. Gonna be rocking it with the Palu and a Kusanagi. I think pulling out the real main here, which is a cloud. But I definitely like that he's got the uh, mix up there with a little bit of a Richter to deal with certain matchups. So this is a Nexus Esports, Mr. Rusky. Uh, great to have you here, dude. Uh, they are located here in Waco, Texas. So please check them out. A really awesome venue. I mean, it's huge, man. There's so... They, it's so much going on here. They have some really great food as well, so please check them out. All right, Mustang getting started here with a little bit of the up air, uh, looking for the fair off of it, and uh, Mr. Kusanagi got that limit ready to go. Wow, popped the limit. Uh, definitely trying to uh, push off that approach right there. Was able to get back on stage here pretty safely. Mustang keeping that pressure on, going to shield on through. Nice mix up. Only going to go with the uh, two slash into uh, the forward tilt, and that's, that's a sign of a really good cloud player right there uh mixing it up off of that because that can be super duper tough and i uh, didn't have the jump and wasn't going to make it back 
So really what uh, good players are going to be doing is uh, looking to parry that third hit of cross slash. So I find that so nice that, that a mix up was there. I'm right, looking for spacing off the back air, gets the approach in off cross slash. Mustang making his way back on through Gunnatelli and looks for the uh, rising Nair, which is so, so safe. Face him out with Forto, catches him with the fair into dash attack and picked him up off the back air again, trying to make his way back. Mustang not able to get the punish though off the air dodge. Get up attack though, gonna do it. That is definitely most unfortunate. Kusanagi definitely lucking out, but gets pushed back off with the back air, trying to save the limit right here and had to go for the air dodge. Gonna limit right on through Mustang, trying to catch him with that up smash, just not able to do it. All right, pops the explosive flame and uh, Kusanagi just based back a little bit uh, back towards uh, the stage there, but still pushing him out here. Mustang looking really, really nice so far. Try to get it, but Kusanagi with the catch off the up smash. Wow. All right, returning back to the platform. Mustang not able to make the punish here. Having a hard time getting those uh, Elias little hits in there. All right. Teleporting back on through. Kusanagi holding it down right now. Mustang has struggling to get this kill in here. Got Limit ready to go on deck. Pushes him back off with the back air. Trying to make his way back off stage. And there is that floating down here. Nice extending hitbox. All right, got the Nair in here. Look for the grab. Spot dodge through. And that's that going to do it there at 173. Kusanagi answering back with the up smash here and got him with the uh, close up explosive flame reaches on through with the Nair misses the tech and Nair is going to pick up on the grounded cloud We're looking for the auto ridicule and Kusanagi lays out the back here but then uh, you know he realizes he doesn't get it he's going to reset it back to neutral and not overextending showing off a really great talent and great decision making here so far Mustang working over lays out for the back here goes for fair for a little bit of safety misses the grab and going to call it out really wants that jump punish Mustang standing his ground here with the auto ridicule. Looks for the back air. Not able to get it and up be a little bit too quick for him. Plays out a close up explosive flame again. Not able to get it. Mustang just working it there off that far right side. Kusanagi though trying to close the gap just a little bit, but definitely possible. Gets a down throw on the plat though. Great tech. Mustang gonna miss it, but gets the follow up with the back air. Trying to space him out with the fair, but the cross slash a little bit too quick for him. Nice delay on the get up there, but Kusanagi all over here. Mustang got to make it back, goes for the Atelli, and good stuff uh, there. Wow, not able to get the punish. All right, jump cancels that uh, cross limit, or cross slash. Goes for the limit play, tried to catch the roll inside, but Mustang uh, with the mix-up. Gets him off the jab, goes for the up smash. Mustang looking for the cross up off the bear, though. Catches the jump in with the up smash. What a hard read. And he's going to be taking game number one. That was a hard, hard read right there. Wow. Kusanagi not going to make the switch. Going to be sticking with the cloud here. You know, he definitely made great strides towards the end of uh, the game right there. And I think he's feeling very confident he can carry it on over. Now, guys, this is still winner's quarters here. So still best of three. Only a best of fives this is going to be uh, winner's finals, loser finals, and the grand finals. Nice up uh, drift back on the explosive flame. Gets a conversion into up air too. Missed the back air follow up though. That's that's most unfortunate. That, that falling back air is pretty safe on shield. Um, but when it auto cancels like that, I know that can be a little bit frustrating. All right, Tele cancels right on down to uh, the plat there. Hops right over, baiting it on in, trying to get the usage of limit right there and took the step back, goes for the uh, projectile. That's exactly what Mustang was looking to get. Carries on through with Nair and I love the spacing there. Uh, as he continued to use the first part of Nair, hit shield and he's able to drift way past uh, Kusanagi. He was just stuck in shield there. Goes for the low end and tried to get the up B, busting able to work it out, and there will be no suicide here today. And uh, with quite a lead right here, takes a strip back right there, gets caught by explosive flame though. Trying to get the nair fitted on through here, hops on through. Oh no! Oh, you see Mustang a little bit frustrated right there, just barely missing that. Kusanagi definitely holding on to it right here, fits in uh, down tilt. 
Mustang definitely jumping out of disadvantage and uh, Kusanagi really not over approaching it. Respecting it out and here comes an air train though. Down to what a smart decision. Got him up the fairs, gotta pop the limit. That is a best case scenario for Mustang right there. I mean, without the limit, yeah, that would have been perfect. But even with limit, he's got to use it. And that is a lot of damage he is losing out on right there. Return stage and catches the roll with forward air. Baited it out. Not able to get the uh, turnaround grab out of shield, though. He was definitely looking for it. There's a tele cancel into fair. Showing off a little bit of tech. Missed the punish. Baited him out, I think, for the up air right there. Got away with it either way. Look for the back air. Nair not able to do it. Like at the back air. Nice mix up for the fast fall into up air here. Got him with the limit. Not able to get the grab. Goes for the jab though. And Kusanagi trying to work it out right here. Nice extension past the ledge there for the mix up. And Telly cancels with that back air. And Kusanagi having a hard time answering back. But going to win back a little bit of stage off that. Mustang with the uh, falling uh, Nair right here. Goes for the up smash. Wow. Overextended with that dash attack. And Kusanagi with a great bait there. Goes up for that close-up explosive flame, and Kusanagi really can't answer back. Try to call out the jump there, but back air a little bit quicker than uh, Palutena's up air, at least in that spacing. Mustang shield on through, tried to call out something with Nair. Kusanagi making big-time adjustments and finally pulling ahead here. But Mustang able to answer right on back with the back air. Trying to look for Nair's right here. Mustang with the uh, lock on. Standing his ground as he always does. So strong, man. I, I love that he will just literally stand there all day long if he has to. Wow. I right, got him off the uh, dash attack here. Lays out forward tilts. Looks for the back air and got the uh, nair, but no conversion off of that. Wow. Kusanagi with a very smart uh, DI inside. Actually going to get away with it. All right, there's a down tilt and uh, looking for the follow-up off of up air. Great shielding here from Mustang though. Rolling on away. Try to fit in the dash attack. He's holding on to that limit tight. And there's that close-up explosive flame. Got him with the drift back limit. Down there, going to catch a neutral get up. Really wanted the fair right here. Mustang going to take a step back and goes for the neutral get up again. Not going to punish it, though. Catches him at the jump out disadvantage. Cloud stuck way up high right there. Goes for the cross slash. Mustang answering back in between uh, the slash two and three. Going to jump out disadvantage here without it. Rolls on through Kusanagi trying to get the back airs right here. Goes for the cross slash number one. Tight, tight game right here. Runs up with the up smash and got limit ready to go. This could be what he needs for that finishing touch, you could say. There's that close-up explosive flame. Catches him again. That has been the uh, calling card for Mustang here this entire time. Went for the back air. Wanted the kill. Gonna respect that out shield. And uh, the ridicule was so smart right there. Rolled on through. Got the dash attack. Kusanagi definitely not with the spacing there. Look for got the roll with the back air. Still not going to kill, though. And Mustang looking to close it out. Try to get a single jab right there. Kusanagi working on through. Looking for that forward tilt for a little bit of space, but pushing back off with the fair. Mustang going to chase it out. Gets him with the fair. And Mustang with the 2-0. Great gameplay right there. And it's so smart right there without the jump. He knew he could just extend right off on the stage right there and in and up taking the game. Wow, oh wow. Well guys, um, looks like we're gonna have Icewater Rick and Brandon coming on up here for the rest of uh, Winner's Quarters. Down here in Losers, guys, we got Nightmare and Yellowrello fighting. Winner that one taking on Mackie. Jibs losing to Bumo off stream there. The most unfortunate. You hate to see that. To be loud, oh my god. You know, unfor unfortunate that uh, Nightmare and Yellow are fighting. Um, if Nightmare is to win that, uh, he could potentially face Kusanagi, which is a buddy that he traveled with today. Uh, th that's That would be mighty unfortunate, I'd have to say. Uh, but Bumo chilling up there 
Uh, looking like a loser's quarters? Yeah, looking like a loser's quarters. But we are continuing our reign of winners. Uh, quarterfinals right here. All right, and let's get it going here with the classic uh, Joker versus Snake. One of my all-time favorite matchups. And rocking on over here to Smashville. Uh, you know, smart move here from uh, Brandon, I got to say. I think it's better just to go for that smaller stage uh, just to keep that pressure down on Snake. So nice stuff here. I Ice Water Rick looked like he's feeling pretty comfortable with it. Lays out for the back here, though. Working on through and got the uh, follow-up there. Good stuff from Ice Water Rick here. His conversions off grenades are very, very solid. Brandon gonna answer back, catches off the descent there. Looking for the up B and a smart air dodge away back onto the neutral here. Trying to lay out forward tilt, gonna get the grab for, th for free though. Goes for the deep bear. What a read right there. Brandon calling it out and setting the tone of this match right now. Got for the get up attack, gonna push it back off. Guys, Water Rick having a hard time really looking for some spacing right here. And a smart rebel guard gonna build plenty of meter and he's already got our sin right here. Shielded on through C4, got the down air, not able to get the back air off that DI inside though, but he is chasing out, gets the fair. Wow, grenade making the save though, holy goodness. Ice Water Rick gonna push right back though with the bear. Hey, you can shield right on through that air, dodge away through it. Great trapping though by Ice Water Rick though. And a nice Nikita, he knew that was coming, but 105 for all his troubles here. Brandon got him off stage. Throw four, gonna go for the higher recovery. Probably gonna pop the C4. Yeah, looks for the grenade reverse. Not able to get it though. And Brandon gonna extend it on out, trying to get the punish there. Forward tilt, pushing back off. And here we go with some trapping. No, only the single grenade play. Yeah, really wanted that shield explosion. Brandon just gonna work it on through. And lays out back airs just a little bit more here. Looking for the dash attack, not able to get it. Ice water rig, making some spacing with that dash attack. But Brandon all over it right here. Make his way back on the stage. Laid out down smash out for the roll inside here. And hops right over. Man, Brandon's uh, trapping on stage right here. Absolutely incredible. Making it so difficult to get on through here. Love the wall of bears. And Arsene ready to go off of the parry with style. Down here out of shield. Very smart. Dash attack, though. Doing his thing. And I really got to give it to Brandon. His, his patience throughout this is incredible. I love the fact that he's not trying to overextend with Joker. Not trying to really get that kill. Uh, and getting impatient. Instead, he's waiting it out. Looking to get Arsene. And make the play when it is time. Goes for the down air play again. Not able to get it so far here. Ice Water Rick able to push back off here. Got it. And went for the fast fall play. Not able to do it. But there's the fair. Going to fit in some extra damage. Cypher Super Armor is definitely quite helpful though. Going to return right on back to the ledge here. Ice Water Rick going to go with the uh, faint jump. A classic. And going to gun it out against Nikita here. Goes for the neutral get up. Barely able to do it. And pop that second up tilt there. But great, great stuff from Braden there. Or I'm sorry, Brandon. What patience, man. Snake can do plenty of shield damage, so the fact he's able to shield on through that absolutely uh, knows this matchup like crazy. All right, there's Nikita Chase, though. It's actually harder right there, unfortunately, with our sin to make that uh, dive back to the stage. I right, got the late, late uh, fair one right there. Good call out from Icewater Rick, though. Tried to stick him in. Got him with the C4 stick. All right, gonna transfer that right on back. Pushes back with the bear here. Try to get the call out, and there's C4 transferred back to him. Gets him with the dash attack. Oh no! He stuck it to himself! Oh no, he didn't realize. He didn't realize that it actually been transferred back to him. Oh man, he tried to make the play right there. Most unfortunate. Right there, when uh, Brandon got that dash attack on him, it actually transferred it right back to him. Oh man. Oh man, most unfortunate. Oh, man. He's Louise. Three, two. All right, here we go. And a game number two right here. We get picked up a dash tag. Going back to Smashville, man. All right, Ice Water Rick got something to prove right there. He's really got to watch that rollback. He's, he, he really likes to either roll away 
um or roll back inside of the stage whenever he's pressured depending on uh whether if he's not mid stage uh he, he always rolls back towards uh that far side of the ledge and brandon all over the habits right here laying out down there love the uh, falling near they're finally able to push back with the dash stack though outside over the uh, trapping here you got to be careful as far as what you're going to be looking for with the grenades too because um rebel guard can certainly give you a great build on meter it's just something in the matchup you have to think about got him off of that up air nice conversion into the uh forward air looking for the back air got him off that roll it's definitely tough for joker sometimes as far as cypher uh he's got to respect it uh for the recovery on it and wow ice rider rig going for a little bit of a grenade play right there there's neutral get up gets the nair drag down off stage right here here comes nikita though makes his way back on through not gonna gun against it though just gonna wait it out and uh picked up again and this is where it's better for joker right there especially uh that tether recovery is actually better against nikita than it is for our sin great stuff for ice water rick though this is the game that he wants to play wow that high on mortar coming in for the kill goodness gracious all right lays out and wow uh c4 explosion again you can see he's a little bit frustrated by that all right shields on through gets uh the falling nair off of it what patience right there from brandon i he gets the grab knows the grenades right there and it just shields through wow I right, goes for the back throw here. Nikita trying to get some mileage off of it. Plays out projectile just to clank up against it. Goes for the neutral get up again. Tries to reach on through. Gets the forward tilt. And lays out that back air. Ice Water Rick doing a, such a better job in actually returning back to the stage. Uh, that first game, he was having a really difficult time. And uh, we're definitely seeing a quite a reversal here. Brandon trying to make his way on through. Looking for shield bait. Drops it every time. And that dash attack getting big mileage. And poking on through. Grenade's going to do it. And he doesn't have much shield left. And Nikita chasing gonna get it and man missed the punish he was looking for he actually was baiting for that attack in and it hit him off the backside with nikita great thought process here from ice water rick though nice gonna hop right on out of that shield hit there and get a rebel guard it gonna have to take the throw but arsen almost ready to go and wow the pause actually gonna help him out right there against nikita good stuff uh, for my sword rick but the cross up back here not gonna quite close him out though at 109 but what a reversal there arson with a big old save and got him with the dash attack too wow i swear to rick just gonna wait it out uh, off that top um return to the stage just to use those invincibility frames to cook out a little bit more of our sin all right looking for the nair out of it nice spot dodge there's the up throw into the uh, up air gonna look for the uh, forward air though i guess expecting that uh that uh, forward air all right, shields on through. There's the uh, up throw. Look for the uh, up air follow up. I just want to rake it really with some nice uh, mix ups off DI and looking for a conversion off C4. Nice uh, early back air, though. Got to respect that C4 right there. And instead, he just shoots projectile. Yeah, it can definitely be uh, quite annoying for a snake, uh, especially with the multi hit. Sticks him with a C4 again. Got him on deck with it, too. I right, got him with the dash attack. Hopefully we will not see him actually pop it on himself again. And got him with the back air, though. What a read. He didn't go for falling there. That was so smart. So smart. And Brandon going to be moving on here to um, winner's finals uh, against Mr. Mustang, which will be a best of five. So incredibly smart wow it's like you know I'm, I'm gonna fish for this kill instead like why why fish for anything else let me just get the kill here online that c4 doesn't hit me i swear yeah Mustang making uh making quite a run through here. Um I did I didn't know we had a Palu. Like we yeah, that's a get one boat moment. Um he's he's more he's more the Ganon guy, so the Palu is kind of crazy. Yeah, that counter to live was insane. So smart. Yeah, Arsen literally gave him that game. That was crazy. That was crazy.
So uh, down here, losers, guys. We got Kusanagi taking on uh, Yellow Rello. Looks like a yellow knocking out nightmare. Uh, and they're going to be playing up down there. Also, we got Ice Water Rick taking on Bumo down there. But we are talking about winter final here with Braden, or Brandon and Mustang. And Mustang going to go with the Ganon. Oh, he's feeling confident in this matchup. I don't know uh, about Ganon versus Joker, man. I don't know if I'd be feeling that. All right, gets the drag down here. Mustang going to try to air dodge it out. You know, it is a best of five. Why not see if he can get a game number one? Yeah, but why not see if he can get a game number one? All right, and getting it going here with the gun downward. Uh, Mustang keeping it quite competitive here at the funny number. Threw out the back here, trying to catch the roll inside. Wow, the forward thought process on this man is absolutely insane. I'm gonna air through. What an answer back with that up air. So smart. All right, looking for the fair follow up and goes for the double hop. Uh, forward tilt a little bit too quick for him. And gun's pretty smart. Uh, definitely gets Ganon. Mustang gonna drift back off of it though. Going for Nair off of a little bit of favor. Looking to get it and catches the roll inside with the up smash. The big. Huah! Mustang waiting it out right here. Throws out Nair, and um, his pressure game is really, really on point. Uh, the biggest thing he's got to watch, though, is if he commits to an option, Brandon can get the closeout on him, so he's got to be really careful. And that's the biggest thing with Ganon. They're going to be looking to cover that jump approach with Fair, uh, and if Joker can make his way inside, it can be a tough one for him. I right, got him with the uh, flame choke here, and here's a little bit of flame choke uh, train. Caught him with the jump again. Mustang looking good. Catches him with the Nair. And got him with the uh, Nair follow-up again off stage here. Wow, not able to get the dash attack. But a great mix-up uh, from Brandon right there. And oh my goodness, what was that? What? Okay. Okay. All right. We take those, I suppose. But holy goodness. And Mustang uh, showing a little bit of that Doria up in here. Can we get a Ganondorf in the venue right now? Oh, man. Yeah. All right, and uh, looks like Brandon pulling out the Zephy here. Maybe to deal with the Ganon a little bit more. All right, looking for the approach on in, and um, you know Mustang definitely got uh, his work cut out for him though. With that Zephyroth range, that can be super tough. A quick snap uh, right there with the Nair Mustang gonna air dodge through. Dark Paul reaching through and picks him up with the Nair again. Mustang is running this and got him with the fair though. One wing already out on deck. Mustang gonna reach through actually and trying to get something going. Got him with the stomp though, and man, Brandon having the hardest time. What is Mustang on right now? Oh my goodness gracious. This man is showing the Triforce of power right now. My goodness. All right, trying to roll on through. Gets him with the uh, down throw. Smart counter back though. I'm gonna take a little bit of the curse though. Off stage is where the battle's gonna take place. Smart flare and gets him with the uh, forward air. He's got an air dodge too. Not gonna push it though. Yeah, Brandon's gotta be a little bit more aggressive off stage. He wants to get it. And uh, Flame Choke, not gonna get him out of the tech situation. That was all or nothing. That was all or nothing for Mustang right there. Calling out the jump. Nair's on through. Gets him with the boot. Waits him out. I tried to cover the roll inside just a little bit too early. There's a Flame Choke. Takes a step back again and went for the Wizard Kick. Now, he actually does the Wizard Kick off of Flame Choke just because it does have the active hitbox but if he whiffs it or if it's shielded he actually travels far enough where he's not gonna get a punish off of it so really smart stuff i uh, trying to extend the boot here gonna hang out on ledge just to try to work his way out of the curse oh no the shield break set up and you know brandon's loving that right there with the big giga flare all right picks him up off the up air goes for the octa slash again has to re-grab ledge mustang trying to get a little bit of something going but pushed right off there's that turnaround snap and Wizard kicking on through. Still not able to get the kill here at 122. Going deep for it. And that is a uh, such an unexpected kill move. I love uh, pulling that out. Mustang waiting things out here just a bit. Tried to get the uh, jump approach with Fair in. And Octa Slash towards him. Nice decision making from Brandon there. Especially with that stock advantage. You see Mustang and Brandon both acknowledging. Yeah, that was the way to go. That was the way to go.
Very smart decision making right there. Not much Ganon can do in those situations. And we'll probably see Mustang uh, make that switch over here to uh, Palu. But he's definitely in it for the long haul on this, the best of five. That was, that was really, really uh, smart. I like they went Ganon for the first game. Kind of feel things out. And we've been really feeling some Smashville today. What? Gonna stick with Ganon. Oh, my. Oh, my. He's actually gonna stick with Ganon. This is insane. Wow, oh, wow. Jeez Louise. All right, well, he's definitely feeling something out right here. All right, gonna take a little bit of snapping right here and get some flame choke. Gonna hop right over and all oh, missing the down air combo off of that. Accidentally tossing a drop down uh, or getting up tilt instead of drop down up air. That, that's always awful. All right, and there's a drop down. Gonna get the stop. Oh no! Octa Slash got just a little bit too much priority. I'm uh, gonna wizard kick right on through that four tilt, approaching off stage here. No fear. I feel like that's really tough for Ganon in that situation, but his shielding's gotta be on point because Zephy's gonna be keeping him out. Tosses the nair, tries to cover the back roll into the up smash jump approach. Bear a little bit too quick for him. Just gonna hang out on ledge air, rolls through uh, Giga Flare, show it off. He's got the knowledge, gets him with the up smash off that jump approach there. And actually taking one wing at that point, really important. Just gonna hang out on ledge here, hops over, Nair not gonna do it. He really doesn't overextend much though. He's very familiar with this matchup. Down air, not gonna do it, gets the tick. Are you kidding me? What a replay, what a reversal. Oh my God. Mustang says, yeah. No, and the jump back uh, flame choke into the back air. The style absolutely crazy here and catches him with the dark ball off the approach here. Mustang absolutely on fire again. This Ganon popping off. Sheesh. All right, coming back on through and it's smart move there from Brandon though. Finally going to get the punish. Looking for the uh, down tilt. Try to get for the uh, jump flame choke and this is the uh, opportunity for Brandon to really bring it back though, but giving up the stage right here. Looking for the jab set and crosses him up with the back air. Mustang taking game number two out of this best of five. Can we get a Ganondorf? Wow. This entire chat needs to be chanting Ganondorf. What is going on? What a comeback though. And you know, Brandon honestly making great decisions. Um, even off stage, like the decision making is there. It's just once Mustang gets a little bit of that advantage there, he is absolutely killing it insane insane Go. guys if you just want to take a moment say i appreciate all of you thank you for tuning in if you haven't already don't forget to give a nexus esports a follow and if you're enjoying the commentary please uh, feel free to check me out on my page as well. I'd love to see you there for all the events I hold too. So, all right, here we go. Uh, going to back to the Joker here and going to FD. Very uh, interesting. I, I actually didn't see FD as the pick here, but um, yeah, yeah, you know, good enough and neutral, neutral for both parties, right? A uh, gun going to push back up. Mustang, very stoic there. Shielding on through. Looking for the stomp on the roll inside. Finally gets a dash stack off that parry, but uh, not going to connect it out. And he, he will actually use uh, dash attack as kind of a burst option just to create that spacing. All right, great stuff. It calls out the jump there out of Nair. Looking for the forward smash. Got him with the fair here. Great shielding goes for the uh, uh, inside Nair there. Arsene definitely messed up that uh, whole guard right there though. Looking for the down air through the ledge right here. Mustang waiting it out. Tosses the double Nair. Brandon very patient. Pushes him out with the bear. Got that jump though still. Makes his way back on through. All right, tosses out Nair and looking for the uh, follow-up. He tried to pick up the up smash. Just not going to happen. And wow, great pressure from Brandon right there. Making it so difficult for Mustang to make his way back on through. So smart. So, so smart. Gun down. We're going to do it. Chase him with a wizard kick a little bit too slow. And there is the drag downs of the up air. But Mustang actually not going to go for the early air dodge inside that time. But Brandon keeping close with him right here. Got him at 47% uh, damage for all the troubles he's taking right here. Mustang trying to get going. There's the faint jump into the boot. Goes for the alleged jump into the down air. Brandon somehow working it on through, though, and gets the uh, inside recovery, though. Brandon's starting to deal with this very well now. Really made such strong adjustments and making it difficult for Mustang to really get inside here. 
Let's think tosses it in. Oh no! What a gimp right there. What a gimp right there. And what a what a different game than what we just saw. Wow. Alright, and uh I'm not sure what happened right there. Mustang taking a stand up here. Uh, something happened right there. Not sure uh, what's going on, but uh, Mustang able to get the uh, back here. Brandon clearly frustrated right now. Uh, Mustang gonna, just going to go ahead and SD it out. Um, I think something happened maybe with his controller or something, but uh, yeah, he, he said, you know, hey, man, uh, that was my bad, so I'm, I'm going to give you the game. Oh, man. Oh, man. Yeah, I'm not sure what happened, though. Looks like something maybe happened with his controller. Definitely unfortunate. Definitely unfortunate right there. You know, the fact that Mustang was at least cool enough to give the game, like, what what a guy. You know, what what a guy. Yeah. What a guy. So you know, we ha you have to make the you have to make the adjustment right here, right? So, yeah, I was about to say we know that um, Mustang is gonna stick with Ganon. He's not gonna make the switch there. Um, I you got to make the mental adjustment right here on game number five. I mean, um, Brandon really running it though, really running it though. But uh, Mustang definitely gonna be loving the smaller stage here. And Yoshi's with those low ceiling blast zones can be really really helpful for Ganon. I got that flame choke. Gonna chase it out. Lays out in there. Look for the fair there, but a, a little bit too quick for the uh, Punisher. You know, Brandon's adjustments have been absolutely insane. And Mustang with a little bit of flame choke uh, chase. Not too bad, though, with Yoshi's. And that, that's kind of specific to the stage. Just because you can try to cover that plat option and still touch down on ledge. And they answer back when it gets him with the upbeat, though. I'm going to air dodge right on through. Gets the aerial flame choke. Try to wizard kick on through. And he teched on inside. We'll see next time that Mustang gets him in the tech situation if he techs back inside again. He's going to be keeping that nair. Not going to answer back through. Mustang trying to make it. Oh, the foot stool. Are you kidding me? What an answer. Oh, no. Oh, my goodness. And Brandon got to stay off tilt right here. I know that's frustrating, but got to keep that uh, mental uh, fortitude strong right here. Going to come back on the, uh, with the up B here. Mustang looking for that flame choke off ledge almost every time. Up smash. Not going to quite do it, though. Looking for the uh, stomp and uh, auto cancel into the up smash. Tries to cross back up with the bear. Brandon staying so aggressive off stage. And Mustang just floats back very slightly. Gets the drop down to a back air. Not going to be able to take that bad boy, though. And smart move from Brandon there. I think that's his best bet. Continue to stay aggressive off stage. Make it so difficult for Mustang to make his way on back. Try to get the double dash attack. Try to answer back with there. Oh, no. Mustang trying to make his way back. But the down air going to do it. What a play from Brandon. He is bringing this back right here. Nice stuff. And Mustang definitely got to keep it together right here. But, man, what a tough matchup. Try to shield on through. Gets picked up with the dash attack. Mustang air dodging back. Look for the back air. Not able to do it. And picks him up with the up air into the up B. And oh my goodness, answering right back. Are you kidding me? This is a game five. Wow, oh wow. You love to see this. Got him with the down throw. Looking for back air. Answers back with up air though. This is the tough part for Mustang here. 75% damage. Um, Arsene only about halfway on the meter here. Uh, he can still get a kill off stage though. And that's where he's going to get the struggle. Uh, looking for the boot. Going to shield on through. Waits it out and gets the uh, falling there into jab. Looks for the up air. Tried to get the up smash off the uh, cross up. He's looking for the read, but Brandon just staying so aggressive and making it really hard for him to get anything going. Nice shield baiting. Got him off the down throw here. Mustang going to spin that jump, though. Air dodging right back down on through. Look for the fair. Caught him off the up smash here. Ganon's kill ability can be pretty crazy. Got the arson. Look for the up smash. No roll inside. Not going to happen. And here it is off stage. Mustang in a scary, scary place. Went for the early up B. And a nice pickup from Brandon. He is moving on to grand finals right here. Wow. Absolutely incredible. With the comeback. Man, oh man. Wow. Wow. I am not sure what happened that game. Yeah, I'm not sure what happened that game, but um, man. Wow. All right, so it looks like we're gonna get Kusanagi and Yellow Rello this stage here. Man, 
What a set, though. What a set. I mean, I, I gotta, I gotta give a tip my hat to both of them. What incredible gameplay here. I'm sorry, we're gonna get Yellow Rello and Boomo. Yellow Rello and Boomo. Wow. Yeah, Boomo did uh, 2 0 him in losers. Yeah, he knocked out Ice Water Rick down there. That is true. And here we go, guys, too. Uh, Yellow Rello. Going to be taking on Boomo here. And this is going to be a loser's semi finals right here, guys. So it's still going to be that best of three. Losers about to be low tier city. Oh my god. Hey, you're kind of not wrong there. You're kind of not wrong there. I mean, just the fact that Mustang feels comfortable with Ganon against Joker, that, that kind of blows my mind a little bit. I'm not going to lie. That blows my mind just a little bit. I mean, he could have he switched to Palu at any time. Yeah, he could have switched to Palu. Great stuff to Brandon, though. Wow. Keeping it strong, man. That's what that offline Joker is all about. All right, here we go with the Yosh taking on the plant here in losers semifinals. Of course, that's going to be your best of three. And after this, uh, we have Miss Tor uh, Mustang, of course, chilling there in losers finals. So, and uh, you know, this is what's going to be about for Rello here, keeping pressure on with eggs. Um, that trapping can be really tough, and Patui makes it very difficult for Yoshi to get inside. Very, very difficult for him to get inside. All right, looking for the back here. Here, great grab right there. Batui is going to be the bane of Yellow's existence through uh, this entire matchup here. Great pressure from Egg going to cancel it out. And a big up smash uh, right into the face here. With the snipe for the down B. Wow, oh wow. All right, got him with the uh, dash. There's the jab lock. And going to go with up tilt into up air. Interesting. Definitely got a little bit more damage, I think, than he would have got with forward smash. So Rello's showing off right here. Nice spacing off of that. Goes with the down B setup and the shield break. Wow, oh wow, and he says sayonara to you off stage, buddy. Plan Gang is blasting off again here in PS2, and uh, great pressure there off the down air. He took every single hit of that on shield. Rello is shielding on through, going for the float off the nair. And that down B mix up has uh, really helped him out here. All right, there's a grab, there's down throw. Not gonna be able to convert it. Looks for the uh, charge up smash here through the plat. Egg pressure on right here for Bumo. He is trying to get it going here. All right, again, more egg pressure right here. Bumo's got to stay so patient right here. That snipe will definitely help him out, but Rello all over it there. Looking for the uh, conversion into fair. That's a tough one for sure. Egg right there, going to gain a little bit of stage back. Oh, nice uh, fair right there, though. Worked his way on through Patui. Shields on through and close enough to get the punish with forward smash. Looking to get the approach for the swallow up. Not able to, and oh, no! He missed the tech off the up B. Oh, no! That's so unfortunate. Rello waiting it out right here. Gets the back here, though. Got him a 123. Chase him with egg. And goes for the fair. Not able to get the uh, double fair. That is normally a bait that Yoshis really love. They like for you to commit to that um, air dodge option. And they'll fit in that second fair. All right, he's going for it. Goes deep. And not able to get the uh, floating there. But that up air will certainly do it right there. And still such a close game right now. Again, Patui, really, really, really difficult. Nice catch uh, with close-up Patui here. Rello trying to make his way back on stage. Looking to close the gap a little bit. And good patience from uh, Boomer right here. And already got him uh, with a nice uh, punish there. Boomer with the uh, Patui straight in the face here. Rello trying to hop on through. Rolls back and gets some space. Good shielding, though. And able to uh, push right back onto fair. You can do that online, folks. Rello chasing it through. Avoids the downbeat. 
Hops out on in and gets the fair. Oh, into the conversion. Not able to capitalize though, but that down air. Poking out through into the up air. Oh my goodness, bring it back. The percentages here. And he's got a little bit of momentum in his favor. Rilla waiting it out, looking for that down beat. Uh, he was baiting that such big time. Able to fit the jab in here, but still not able to close out anything quite yet, though. Not at the percentage. Gets the fair, though. Chasing it out. Baits the down B, though. Respects it out through. And going to give him a little bit of stage back here. He can just continue to apply egg pressure. Yellow looking for that charge up smash. Shields on through. Wow. Can you believe that Bumo literally just got the up throw for free? And he's going to be taking game number one here. Yellow made uh, some great strides there at the very end, and I'm sure that we will see a little bit of adjustments for him here as we continue through. Alright, and here we go, on to the Smashville. This is a dream hack rematch, is it? Oh, let's go, Arrow. All right, and uh, Yellow Rilla gonna run right on in with that down here. Bumo trying to get a little bit of spacing off of that ledge here, but great pickup from Yellow with that down here. And uh, he normally gets the double up air. Uh, Bumo gotta be really careful of that panic um, jump at a disadvantage here. Rilla going deep for that kill there. Not able to get it though. Plank got plenty of those recovery options. Chase him with fair. Rilla gonna return right on stage, picks him up with the up air again, and tries to answer back with the down air. Ultimately going to get the jab and reset it on through. Rello getting big mileage, though, with those uh, flow cancels off of the egg. Tries to jump on over, lays out egg again, but the down B through the poison the smoke screen. Going to help him out here big time. Picks him up with fair. Rello keeping that egg pressure on him and rolls right on through here. Working his way uh, through very smartly with the rolls here. And uh, Bumo not able to really pick up on it. I'm very surprised by that. His lead shopping seems really on point, but Rello making it so difficult. Tried to mix it up with the down B though. Excuse me, commentator's curse. Never mind. And Bumo gonna be taking uh, that stock right there. Toss out the up tilt. Trying to uh, get the fall through the ledge right here. Rello definitely knew he was gonna see that trick again. Went ahead, tossed uh, egg, and a very, very smart um, Patui just to get out of disadvantage right there. If you get the, if you get swallowed up by egg right there, that really is one of the best options for a plant that you can do. Hey guys, if you need the correct bracket, here is the link uh, right there. And these guys just crossing each other up on stage. Knights of Pro there from Rello. Going to get the free forward smash. Does have invincibility on startup, so that is why he's going to win out that trade there. Hopping right over. There's Patui, though. Rello just going to use a little bit of swallow momentum, and that's going to help him barely avoid that distance of Patui. Trying to dash on a nice spot dodge off that forward smash. Picks him up. Not able to get the uh, up smash. He's hoping for that air dodge in. Goes for the dash attack here. Gets the ledge trump, though. Had him re-grabbing. Forward smash. Not able to do it, though. Was trying to get that roll read. Great patience here from Bumo, though. And Egg does clank uh, there with it. Oh, no! He didn't have the jump left. Wow. Oh, wow. And Bumo looking to take this bad boy right here. A yellow. Got to stay. Very patient. Look for the affair uh, right there. Threw it. But Batui a little bit too strong. And a great conversion there from Bumo right there. Nice cancel off that down B, too. Takes a step in. Gets the dash attack. Hops Batui, Yoshi with the get up, but the jab gonna do him big time damage right here. That up, he chased the snipe, oh no! I saw him laying it out from a mile away, but Yellow just in the wrong position there. And Bumo gonna be moving on here to losers finals. Wow, oh wow, what great play right there. What read, man, what a read. It looks like we got Bumo about to take on Mustang here in Losers Finals. Well, if you're just tuning in, welcome, guys. My name is Wumbo. I'm your commentator here for the Spring Cup here at Nexus Esports. It's great to see you all. Hope you're having an incredible, incredible day so far. We got plenty of awesome matches coming up. Losers Finals, man. That's going to be great. Uh, between Mustang and Bumo, then up here at the top is Brandon chilling in Grands. Uh, we'll see if anybody, uh, who's going to go on? 
and uh best of luck to all uh the folks here that are continuing and for everybody that, uh you know participated today uh awesome job guys i hope you learned something whether you um ended up getting a payout or not doesn't matter you know we're all here to have a good time and it's great to be able to come out for locals in a safe manner uh guys if you have not already um or if you're interested more in the stream or the, the future of the stream please don't forget to hit that follow button okay i definitely appreciate it and if you don't mind taking a moment as well please check out my twitch uh, my stream wednesday through sunday wednesday through sundays at 7 p.m central all right guys here we go let's get back on over here to the good stuff What custom stage is that? Oh my god. All right, here we go. We're in losers finals here. Bumo about to take on Mustang. Mustang gonna rock it still with uh, the Ganon. Thank you. I'm looking clean. Let's go, Rusky. Wow, I, I honestly can't believe um, that Mustang feels so confident uh, with the Ganon. I mean, I know that's his main, but um, his Palo was really clean earlier, but uh, we'll see what he's got here. Gonna hop right over, take the Patui into the fair. Gonna answer right back with Nair and uh, a push off. Look for the stomp. Not able to get it though. This is definitely gonna be difficult. Ganon's got to really work his way in through there. Um, but you do see him continue to, he lays out um, Nair, drift back into fair and able to get that flame choke follow up. Nice, nice stuff. Going deep for it, doesn't even mind it. Nice approach here from Bumo. Gonna lay out the up airs here. Mustang not afraid to fight it off stage though. Gonna get the free get up attack off that whiff there. Hops right over looking for the up air. Can shield on through, there's the flame choke and drift it back into the boot there. He definitely doesn't really go for down tilt. Uh, it's not going to be the best option at that percent. And Mustang chasing him out with the up airs too. Hops right over here. Air dodges through. And got him with the faint jump into the boot. Man, oh man. Call that the Texas boot out here. Wow. Mustang still working his way onto the stage here. Avoiding it. Gets the flame choke. Gets the carry again. And got the dash attack. Gonna hop right over that. Oh no. Went for the drop down up air and missed the tech. Most unfortunate there with the up tilt. And uh, gonna air dodge through. Gonna look for the up beat. Gonna get the uh, push through. And a nice answer back there from Bumo though. Uh, but built some pretty good damage, 66%. Imagine gentlemen to a custom stage. That would be insane. All right, Mustang hanging out on ledge here. Rolls on through. Not able to get the uh, shield uh, payback that he was looking for. You know, Ganon's out of shield options aren't that great anyway. So he's really looking to make something happen there. Gonna flame choke away though. Bumo really closing the gap here in percentages. Mustang trying to roll on through every neutral get up there. Hops right over, finally gets in there, able to push off. Mustang really makes, when his exchanges are there, he does make them count. And that's what Ganon, I feel like, is really all about. Got the back air here. Gonna see the uh, down B. Gonna go deep for it. And got the reverse Nair on it. Knew he was gonna go for the inside. Smart play there from Mustang. Gonna hang out on ledge. Hops right over, picks up the Nair. Lays out the boot, though. Trying to get the flame choke. Uh, Midair, though. Bumo very, very patient, uh, even against uh, some of these plays here. And a nice down smash off a spot dodge. Gonna close out that stock here. Mustang avoiding that down, be baiting it out though. Takes a step back, goes for the uh, falling Nair. Not able to get it and hoping to cover that roll inside. Got him off the dash tag, up smash, not gonna catch off the air dodge inside. Mustang starting to feel out some of the habits. There's the flame choke though, but man, that's really actually gonna close up the percentages of anything, unfortunately. Mustang just gonna wait it out and Bumo over approaching right there, picks him up off the fair, rolls inside, tries to boot him out for the shield uh, pressure. That does do an insane amount of shield stun. Um, Mustang's really smart though here in that he knows that 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 poison cloud is gonna get damaged either way, so he should just hang out and wait it out. Um, 
that, that's the best long-term choice for him. And uh, looking like he's going to be closing out game number one there with a big old up smash. Ibumo had the choice. He would play a troll stage every time. Play stamina battle with items. That's the way to go right there. All right, here we go back on to game number two. Mustang uh, clutching that one on out here. Three, two, one, go. All right, you go uh, drifting on back there, but Bumo immediately gonna go straight for the punish, gets a dash attack. Mustang uh, returning back on this stage here, trying to roll on through and air dodges right past that Patui. Gets the uh, down tilt, definitely the best option right there. There's nowhere for him to go. Uh, he can't even roll inside fast enough to go against the down tilt. You're gonna get the free punish. The nice stuff from there. Mustang really going for that drift back aerial flame choke. And he gets some nice, nice plays off of it. Nice Batui. They're going to avoid that. Looking for a frame trap situation. But Mustang, uh, he'll actually hesitate off of the air dodge just a bit. So that way he's able to flow back at the last second. Oh, wow. Baited him big time though with the forward smash. Nice stuff from Bumo there. Yeah, I thought the Batui is going to be coming a little bit higher. Mustang hops right on over that poison cloud though. Looking to approach through. Bumo playing this right here. Just camp it out on that ledge right there. Mustang uh, really, really can't approach it big time. Yeah, looking for the shield break. Mustang going to hop right over. Goes for the stomp, though. Gets the up B, though. You know, really for Mustang there, too. Like, th that's an extremely smart play. All right, takes a step back. Not able to get the fair, though. Look for the up air. Hanging out on ledge here for a bit, though. And smart Nair. And this is a completely different game right here. Bumo doing exactly what he needed to do right here. All right, shields through. Looks for the layout on the back here. Not able to get it, but gets a free Nair. Got the reverse Nair again. But man, uh, down to his final stock here. He's definitely going to have to bring it way, way back here. The bad thing is, too, is that he's at his final stock, so there's no way that he can gain a side um, off that far uh, side of the ledge there with side B. Because that would certainly been the answer if we need to bring it back. But, uh, yeah, not going to happen right here. And Bumo definitely running this big time into the down B. And, man, oh, man, I did not think he's going to be able to make that back. Oh, no. Reaches through with the Dark Paw, though. Mustang going to answer back with the Aerial Flame Choke. Looks for the back here. Going to Wizard Kick back to neutral, though. Bumo going to pay back with a little bit of a jab. But Tui, uh, like he shorted it just a bit to get that bounce off of it, that active hitbox. All right. And turned around the down B, though. Oh, no. I think Mustang purposely DI'd that out. Yeah, I think he DI'd that out. He was not. That would, that would have been insane if he brought that back. That would have been in, intense. Wow. All right, thinking about where we're going to be going here. This is where we get real deep and real serious right here. And uh, going on over to small battlefield. You know, I, I think for Mustang, anything that has the least amount of plats is probably going to be his best friend here, especially with Patui. Uh, going to cancel it out, force that air dodge in. Mustang going to actually go low and uh, push back against that up B just a little bit here. Quickly jabbing it on through. We'll see the adjustments that he looks to make. Nice drift back fair. Looking for that down B setup. And Mustang trying to get a quick Dory out to the face, though. Going to get the wizard kick. He's looking to punish Stretchy Neck. Like, that's exactly what he wants. Hops right over. Looking for the up air. Not able to get it out. And gets a free flame choke off that into the down tilt. Yeah, Boomo having a hard time teching this out. Got to practice that uh, flame choke tech, guys. Nice conversion in up tilt. Into up air. Going to chase it out with the down B. Not able to get it, though. Mustang uh, very easily able to avoid it. And nice uh, shield pressure off that back here. Going for the up smash, though. He's really looking for the big plays right here. Works his way out of it and goes for the dash attack, but a jab not quite quick enough for uh, plants. 
and tried to narrow it out. Got a trade, but ultimately gonna lose the stock right here. Mustang gonna get a side B here. Goes for the turnaround, Doria, with the read. My goodness gracious, somebody has been reading up. Jeez. All right, returning back on the stage, trying to roll on through. Went for the back here, but up till just a little bit too quick. Smart wizard kick uh, to push back on the Batui. That was an amazing, amazing play right there. And Bumo standing there. He's not even sure what to do about it. Nice mix up, though. I uh, ended that down B. What a mind game. Must Mustang going to fast fall it out. Goes for the neutral get up. Gets picked up again. And wow, going to get the up B, though. Plant got that recovery, though. And just a little bit short off of that, too. You know, Bumo can actually go deep and force him into the up B there and, and gimp him. Mustang waiting it out. Needs to get that big time punish, but with a stock lead, gonna be tough. Pops the up till here, goes for the early up B. Gonna go for the stomp, not able to quite get it though. Every time though, he does reach through with ledge with up B, he's really smart about it. And a nice mix up from Bumo there with the uh, Patui. He actually ended up a little bit high to catch jump. Rolls inside off that um, down B here. Mustang gonna go deep inside on the uh, stage here. And he's actually doing that so he can touch back on ledge just a little bit earlier. There's nowhere to chase him. And wow, Patui gonna hit off the up B. And I think uh, Mustang a little bit shocked about it, just as I am. And uh, he is down 2-1 right now. Will he switch over to Palu? You right, monster, you right. All right, and he is going to switch over to Palutena. I thought we might see the switch. I mean, I'm so, I'm so surprised he didn't go Palu earlier. He, he's been pretty clean with it. Um, maybe just not confident in it himself. I'm not sure. I mean, the, the big thing for Palu is as long as you're keeping your distance in your range where you need to be, uh, you can win out a ton of exchanges and continue to get good damage back on plant with Explosive Flame and uh, the lock on Ridicule. So I, I'm really not sure what he's thinking right here. Uh, Bumo going for the uh, Shield Break setup right there out of that Poison Cloud. Mustang going to hop right over. Telly in and cancels it out. There's the down B though. Not able to punch it. A great spacing there from Bumo off of that down B. Mustang trying to make his way back on through. Gets the dash jack. Gonna push it out just a little bit. Lays out forward tilt for safety. Nice little uh, raw bear there from uh, Bumo. And picks him up off the down B. And uh, Bumo running this right here. Wow, oh wow. All right, putting in a little bit of pressure back on him with the up airs into a back air. And Mustang just gonna wait it out and goes for the ledge trump just a little bit too early though. Laying out the backers, gets the up smash though out of that shield. Very nice play for Mustang. Hopping right over. Not even gonna go uh, for the counter there either. All right, there's the down throw, looking for the fair follow up and controlling right there above that plat. So smart with Nair. Uh, Bumo definitely got that habit of trying to return there. Going for the Nair follow up. Drifts on back and gets the punish he was looking for. Mustang trying to get back on the stage here. Pops Explosive Flame. Didn't get the close-up. A little bit of a misinput. X up in place. Bumo chasing him out. Shielding on through. And uh, Mustang get a little bit aggressive right here. Gotta be careful. That shield bait is very, very strong. Gonna approach on through. Gets dash attack. Got him in a uh, tech situation. But good stuff from Bumo. Smart get-up attack there. You know, down B can be interrupted by Palu's Nair. So that's definitely something that I'm sure both of them are keeping in mind through this uh, matchup here. Barely avoiding that down smash. Wow. Nice little wave lane back onto the uh, platform here. Busting away now. Gets the lock on. Pushing back on with fair here. Drifts on back through. Lays out back here though. And picks him up off the nair here. Closing up uh, the percentages right here. There's a Batui trade though. And goes for a little bit of a mix up. Nice catch though off that roll. Wow. There's up throw off the top plat. Not going to quite kill. Mustang still always got that counter in hand if he needs to. Uh, but up throw still not going to quite do it here. Goes for the deep recovery here. Mustang trying to make his way back on the stage. Oh, no. Gets up right into the Batui. And Bumo trying to close out this last stock to move on to Grants. Calls out for the back air here. Gets the Nair drag down into uh, that down throw. And a follow-up off fair. Looking pretty good. Nice cancel. Mustang looking for the drag down Nair. There's a tele cancel, hops right over, no back air. Gets him with the up smash again, though, in a simpler situation. And got him with a back air, too. 
Not gonna purge him off stage. Looks for the ledge jump every time. I love the Bumo tossed out that up tilt there just for to feel out some safety on shield. Really smart. All right, there's the tele cancel. Gonna reset things back to neutral here. Mustang hopping right on through. And just, uh, this is what Mustang does, man. He loves to just wait it out right there on that far side of the stage and bait those approaches. And there's the classic Palu back throw off the back side of the stage. And uh, closing out stock here. Uh, still anybody's game at this point. All right, goes for the jab. Nice parry at the end for the forward smash. Close up explosive flame and looks to uh, apply some pressure with fair. But Bumo definitely pulling ahead right here. That Nair so safe, especially if you drift it the right way. But air dodges away. And uh, Mustang paying him back in some great dividends here. Look for the down air edges and back with the spike, though. And what a play from Bumo. And he is going to be moving on to grand finals. Got some work ahead of him, though. Got some work ahead of him. But great gameplay there. Mustang going to be taking third, though. Nothing to be too upset about with a little bit of a nice Ganon we saw earlier. Great stuff to him. Wow. Here we go, guys. We got Brandon taking on Bumo here in Grand Finals. Waco in the top two. Let's go. Yo, Drago, we got to see a little bit more of those Austin folks down here. All right, so let me let me ask you guys really quick, though. What's your thought on Houston folks? I feel like I'm about to get some hate, but what are your thoughts on Houston Smash, guys? All right, so let me tell you um, what's going on here. Bumo coming from the loser side. Going to have to win a set to reset the bracket here. Um, and Brandon, um, he's just got to take it. Jago and I are bad. Ike is the only good player. I'll bet. Bet, bet. All right, guys. And for all the real, real bread today, Grand Finals. Let's see what happens right here. Brandon, definitely, um, you know, this Joker, very, very solid uh, bait and punish uh, gameplay here. Um, Bumo, the trapping, absolutely insane. Um, this is going to be a very interesting match matchup, of course. Plant versus Joker uh, can be a little bit tough for both sides. Uh, playing disadvantage, of course, not going to really uh, be enjoying that either. So, yeah, Key lost uh, last week, actually. All right, so laying out um, a little bit of uh, Niha and going to continue to add some pressure here with Gun. All right, keeping pressure on Widnair right here. Arsene ready to go. Already got the down air and a nice little uh, faint jump right there. He didn't try to uh, overextend on the combos. Coming out through, there's a neutral getup. Oh my goodness, Obuma with a nice trap. Lays out Rebel Guard for safety. Trying to get that uh, close up, uh, Patui, but what a nice little play there with a the forward smash. Going deep for it, and oh no, our sin is gone, and I don't know what happened there, but Bumo just missing the stage right there. Man, oh man. Brandon here at 114, going to fit in a little bit of extra damage here. I think for him, slowing it down and continue to build some good pressure off Miha is going to be really, really nice right here. Nice follow-up and gets the grab off that plat tech situation. Wow, wow. Looking to rebel guard that Patui. Bumo got to be a little bit more uh, thoughtful about when he throws out Batui because Brandon can literally just rebel guard it and get free Arsene build. So he's got to be really, really smart here. All right, Waco laying out for it and not able to get it. Great baiting there from Bumo, but already a 108 for all his troubles here.
All right, coming back on up, and there is a nice little uh, setup here, but not going to happen. Uh, Brandon going deep for it, trying to get a punish. Oh, no! Wow, he's really feeling the pressure off stage right here. And Brandon definitely in his head right now. Got the down throw into the fair. Nice spacing off forward tilt. Laying out Miha for a little bit of safety off of that. And forcing the jump, though, is not a bad option in that situation here. Bumo chasing him out and looking for the tech situation off that plat again. Covering inside, definitely smart right there. Nice coverage. Wow. All right, going to go for neutral get up. Barely avoiding it and just going to narrow it out into the back air. And Bumo can't deal with the pressure situation. Nice down B, though, and got to pop that arson. Not going to make it back and keeping it to a one stock situation here. All right, stepping on him. Brandon going to get the uh, jab right here. 95% just looking to build up. Maybe a little bit of arson. We're about a half meter here. Gun going to help him out, though. And there it is, that Rebel Guard straight into arson. And I'm not sure if that's going to work out for Bumo, but he certainly did pull back the percentages here. Nice bait. Went for the forward smash mix-up. Not able to get it, though. Bumo chasing him out right now. Lays out the back here. Not going to quite kill. And Brandon trying to step on in. Definitely going to go for forward throw for once that stage advantage. Got to respect a little bit of his options here. And goes for the ledge jump, not able to get it, chasing him out. And Buma working it out, though, gets the dash attack, though, and not going to quite kill it out. And our sin is gone. Going to get the gun here and picks up for the get up attack here. He was able to actually wait out our sin and bring back the percentages e even closer. This worked out for him in the long run. Wow. I'd look for the uh, double grab. Hopped right over, no forward smash, gets him off the dash attack here. Going deep. Nice ledge cancel for the back air, though. Bumo trying to work it out. Oh, no. Push off the ledge here. Going to use a little bit of a, go a gun float cancel back to the stage, though. Brandon uh, waiting him out, though. Gets him for the forward throw. Wow, he didn't go for down throw. All right, going to toss uh, Rebel Guard and build up our sin. Oh, that's a scary situation. Gets the counter off the up B. And Brandon working it out there at the end. That's a tough one there, but able to do it. And going to be taking game number one here. Does Austin not have any uh, offline going on right now? That's interesting. I know San Antonio just started their stuff back up. Yeah, they just started their stuff back up. Houston's got a few things going on. I can tell you guys in May, there'll be uh, quite a bit more. And of course, Nexus Esports right here, guys. So uh, awesome, awesome venue, I have to say. If you haven't seen it with your own eyes, really, really cool place. Lots of space too, so uh, plenty of social distancing can be practiced. All right, guys, here we go into game number two. I, I, I do, honestly, though, got to give it to Bumo. As close as he's been keeping this, it's definitely possible for him. All right, gets the down throw. Going to chase it out with the fair in a nice frame trap situation off of uh, that up tilt there. You know, Brandon is... It's very funny. Sometimes he's just so reckless off stage that it works. I don't think anybody's expecting that level of aggression sometimes. And hey, man, whatever works for you, do it. Uh, there's a drag down up there. Nice to, uh, chase off that grab there in the double back here doing it. Uh, Boomo going to work his way back on through. Gunning him out for some extra damage here into the back here again. Wow. 95% damage. Going to knock him back towards the stage. Not a big deal, though. Try to jump right over. Dash tag doing its thing, though. Really getting uh, caught off ledge or on ledge right here, though. And Bumo really making strides with it. His ledge chapping uh, definitely is number one quality for sure. And and that just speaks a plant. Try to get the up smash, though. A little bit too short off of it. There's a double hop into the nair. Not able to do anything, though. Bumo trying to uh, close up the gap just a bit. There's that faint jump that's got him almost every time. Lays out the double back air. Got him again. Bumo drops shield a little bit too early. And I love the baiting that Brandon's got right there off that double of... Uh, hop right there so he'll hop once fast fall it and then immediately just do it again and throw out an aerial it's a very nice little mind game and there's uh, that rebel guard already got our sim back out on deck again this is where boom has got to be a little bit more careful as his decision making just because seeing our sim that often is definitely a big big problem i look over up till uh one of plants fastest options for sure really good out of shield we catch jump and here we go with our sin ready to go only 25 percent damage for free our sin that is just something you don't want to see. All right, got him off dash attack right here. Push that right on back here and gets him with the grab situation. Nice little faint jump here. Got him off stage, laying out for something. Not able to get it, though, and went for the same counter that he was looking for before. Down there, not going to do it. He didn't actually re-grab ledge that time. Looking for Mia right on through. Shields through, hops right over, looks for the grab again. Not able to get it, and down there, neither. But got a dash attack. Got him off stage. 
Boomo definitely got to make some adjustments here, jumping right on through. You know, and, and Brandon's just standing there. Uh, really, Boomo has committed to a lot of the same options on ledge, and he's really got to make the adjustment here. Nice fast fall mix up into up smash, and gonna drop that shield again. He's getting that big time plays off that faint hop every single time. Uh, looking for the approach on through, but Batui right in his face here. Gonna go low for it, no back here. Close up Batui into jab, no shield break, but the step back forward smash, a classic zoner move. And he is gonna be taking that stock right here. Arsene only at mid here. Uh, if you haven't noticed out, gonna gun on through, build some nice damage here. Single jab into a forward tilt. Got him off the down throw though, and gonna push him back with fair. All right, and smart mix up there. You see him bounce uh, that Patui off of the ledge right there. That was incredibly smart. What a mix up there. As it bounced, it just has that nice active hitbox. Got him with back air here. Gonna go for deep for it. Answers back with the down B. Still got some damage in there though. Looking for the force smash. A little antsy. Got him off the back airs though. Avoiding uh, Patui. Gonna go deep for it. Not able to get it though. Nice workaround from Bumo there. And looking for that shield break again. There's the drag down up air. Got him off the grab off that. Wow. Pushes back with jab right here. Very, very close game. Lays out the back here. Not able to get the kill, though. And there's the up there. Still living it up. Brandon avoiding that Patui just barely here. Joker got that rage on deck here. Laying out for back here. Is not quite able to get anything going yet. Working underneath that platform. Oh, no. He whiffed the dash attack. Not going to get the punish, though. And got him jab off stage right here. Arsene almost out. Goes for that neutral. Going to bait into the up throw. Baited him out. Man. Man. Goes for that neutral get up in the shield almost every time and got him for free off of it. Nice ledge trapping and baiting air. And that's what it's all about for Bumo here if he wants to take this set. You're just gonna lose to double dwarf every tournament oh come on studs you got it man nah you're good dude you're good all right and uh he's definitely gonna stick to joker i don't think we'll see any mix up from that though we've seen some stuff from him earlier uh within the sets here today so i i'm not Surprised? I think I think this is definitely his best answer. All right, so Bumo uh, gonna go ahead and start off with a little bit of a dash attack here, pushing back on through. There's a down tilt. Look for the grab setup. Not able to do it. I right, switching over to Serious Joker now. The white and red. Man. All right, look for the nair to cover that jump off into dash attack. Covering plenty of options here, but Bumo still able to work out uh, just about everything. And a uh, falling nair not able to do it right here. Nice follow-up. That's a that's pretty much a guarantee around that mid percentage there. Uh, that falling nair into forward tilt. All right, look for down smash. Down smash. Not able to get it though. Uh, Miha and approaching on through that down B though. Arson ready to go. And there's the uh, down air. Look for the uh, jump follow-up off of it. That's a hard one to convert. That really is. Normally, uh, most people fish for up smash or down tilt. But our up tilt, I'm sorry. Just not able to get it. Boom up with a nice uh, Patui bait though. And going to be closing out that first stock here. You know, Brandon really is struggling um, within these high percentages to really get that kill. And I know that's uh, can be a problem with Joker without our sin, um, but it has really, really uh, been a struggle for him throughout this uh, entire day today. Uh, Bumo, of course, uh, is lead trapping. Absolutely amazing, but definitely getting beat out of neutral quite a bit. Uh, so we'll see how this plays out. Um, but very, very uh, awesome set so far. Brandon, Brandon, wow, trying to keep it going here. Got him with the back here. Shielding on through. Picked up off that jump. Arson ready to go. Pays him back with the back here. Looking to approach him on through. There's gun. Nice counter, though. Very, very smart. Um, but still not able to capitalize. Bumo really starting to pick up on what he needs to do off stage here. And it is really making a difference. Picks him up off the up tilt. There's the faint jump into jab right here. 
trying to charge up, uh, but didn't need to. Just going to go ahead and pop near. Pushes him back off right here. Braids the roll into that forward smash. Trying to bounce Batui off right there. Just wasn't able to quite get it. And jump it off ledge right there into the dash attack. Brandon looking a little bit spent right now. And Bumo running this big time. Smart little attack right there. And going to float on through. Try to get the forward smash, but jab. Going to cancel it out before he even come out. Hops on through, looking for the follow-up. Guns right back out and gets a little bit of space. Down B not going to quite snipe it out. You see him use down B plenty, though. Um, it's super duper smart. So he's actually using that for his spacing, and he can immediately uh, re-grab ledge. All right, looking for the get up attack. Not able to get it. And man, man, Bumo looking to run this bad boy right here. Brandon waiting it out and finally baited out that dash attack there. Still not able to close out the first stock here. Got him at 171. Like I talked about a little bit earlier. Struggling to get those kills. Going deep for it. There's the down B. Oh, no. He got baited right into that. Great play by Bumo there. Drifting on back with that down B. Angled him right towards the stage there. Didn't even miss the tech, but also right underneath the stage. Not much you can do there. And Bumo going to be pulling ahead here. Looking to reset this bracket. Man, oh, man. Holy goodness gracious. And guys, hope you're having a great night. If you haven't already, please don't forget to give a uh, stream a follow. I definitely appreciate it. If you don't know who I am, my name is Wumbo. I'm your commentator tonight. But here we go back on over to Grand Finals here. Yoshi's... Uh, Oh, pl platforms are going to be a little bit of a problem, but but um, I could definitely see it uh, with Joker a little bit of the smaller blast zones might help him out just a tad. Looking for the grab out of shield right here. I think for Brandon, he's really got to compose himself for right now. All right, and throws up for the Rebel Guard. Got our sin ready to go. Yeah, that neutral get up in the shield. Um, he is getting punished big time for it. Uh, really trying to over approach on its side right now. And tries to go for gun over Bumpatui right in the face. Going to rebel guard it out. Looking for the approach on in. And Arson already gone right there. Bumo rocking it right here. Brandon hops on over. Look for dash attack. Nairs right on through into jab. Just going to hang there just for a second. I think, I think Brandon has played so solid here. But he's got to compose himself. And uh, he's really over approaching. Getting a little, little bit too aggressive here. All right, looking for the approach right here. Nothing uh, so far, though. Working it out off the ledge here. And very smart up B right there. He knew he had to re-grab ledge. Just going to slightly extend a little bit past the stage here. Really smart. I right, picked it by Nair. Hops right over. And Nair's right on through for a little bit of some safety there. Tosses Rebel Guard. Not able to get it. And pushing off on that dash attack. Bumo just standing there being so patient. And his shield baiting is getting him huge mileage. Nice Batui back in. And man, oh man, Bumo has definitely got his card right here. His mix-up in Poison Cloud is really uh, quite smart as well. You'll see him uh, do different things like Patui. Uh, he'll do a Patui cancel into down B. And what a snipe right there. Bumo on top of it. Holy goodness. Wow. And this man is about to reset this bracket. Wanting to take uh, first place out of that $500 prize spot. Wow, wow. Shielding on through. His shield bidding has been really what has taken him this far. Um as far as the rest of the set here going for the deep nair gonna be right on through bears him out to the face here brandon though i uh, got our sin ready to go just gonna wait out on ledge looking to close out the option you gotta remember that up b does have a hitbox though and chase him out stage gonna get the bear uh, but taking a 60 percent damage for all his troubles here uh just to take that stock hops right over these platforms are really helping Bumo out more than anything i think for brandon if we see the bracket reset he's got to go to some flat stages be looking for something more Kalosy, um, or or even FD. I'm not that I'm a huge fan of taking Planted Kalos, but the platforms are absolutely getting his way. Nice a uh, faint there, going underneath it. Tried to get the back here though, but the thought process is definitely there. He's starting to make some adjustments. Starting to make some adjustments. Very very smart. Went for the down air, not able to get it though. Tosses out the side B though. There's a neutral get up into that dash attack again. He's got to be careful. 
Hops right over it, looks for the bear for a little bit of space. Down here, not able to do it either. Nice fade jump into up smash though. And Brandon starting to bring it back just a little bit right here. Yapatui yeah, ledge guard gonna get it and into uh, the grab right there. He's had a hard time mixing it up off ledge and Bumo is making him pay for it. Just like that, got the big trade that he was looking for here. And this is looking pretty close right now. Trying to get something going. Finally got the spot dodge into the back here. Looking to extend it off. There's a down. He sniped him off the stage. And just like that, we're going to a grand finals reset. Here we go. We're here to play some Smash tonight, ladies and gentlemen. Absolutely incredible. Absolutely incredible. Thank you, milkshake milkshakes. I appreciate you. Wow. Are you ready to play some Smash Bros? Can we get Wumbo every event? I'll try my best, guys. If you want to check out all my commentary, uh, there's a link right there. And here we go on to the grand finals reset. Absolutely awesome here. Um so the biggest things I want to call out here. Boomer's ledge guarding, right? He has had Brandon under control the entire time that he's been off stage. And uh Brandon's just not been able to make it back. The the damage that he accrues every time is absolutely insane. Um his recovery's back to stage gets back really easy. Uh, Brandon just really going deep for it, not able to really get a conversion off of it. And it, it's pretty crazy. Now, for Brandon, though, I got to say he's winning out of neutral quite a bit, or at least was earlier in the set. Um, so I think he's just got to continue to stay aggressive and make the adjustments. Um, it does seem like Bumo loves to get that shield baiting in there. So as long as he's thinking about the thought process here, like, hey, you know, if somebody's shield heavy, how do I counter that? Uh, cross up, grab a little bit more. Uh, might work out for him a little bit. Uh, there's that drop down bear. They're going to counter up the upbeat and looking a little bit stronger here. Uh, composing himself here in uh, game number one on this reset. You're here for a drop down there. You see him spot dodging it out a little bit more. And I think that's kind of his answer back to things. Had the frame chat, just not able to capitalize it off. There's that floating uh, nair and smart stuff from Bumo here. Just going to continue to uh, have that space there. He knows that in the long run, he can play that battle of attrition and just keep them, uh, keep far apart from him in that mid long distance. And he's going to win it out. Force Brandon to play that game. All right, there's a down throw, looking for the conversion, and got it off of the fair here. The plant gang is real, Yumi. Look for the uh, grab off of it. There's the down tilt, though. Funny number 69 lays out back here. It's so safe right there off that double pop of it. Puts out Miha, gonna let him come on through. Tosses out Nair. Definitely made me so smart with his decision making right here. He is really wanting this, and you can definitely see in his gameplay, he has made some big adjustments. Tried to approach there through that Patui, though. Got to be careful, especially if you clink it out. Nice feint jump there. Going to throw Rebel Guard. Decision-making on point. Gets the gun. Goes for the downer. Gets the counter, though. And man, oh man, Brandon on fire right now. What is going on? What is going on? You know, it amazes me the mentality of certain players able to bring it back like this. I mean, he went on a, a 3-0 lost run and he's still able to make the adjustments and running this game completely nice spot dodge and uh, there's the back throw looking for the nair off of it but two just not gonna happen trades him out with some back here for some extra damage got him off the down smash here the ledge trapping absolutely crazy great tech though and he is bringing it back here such focused gameplay and nice step back off the jab still not able to get it though got a little bit of the drag down up here but not able to convert it here but uh, wow, 94% for all of his troubles here. And living at 172, absolutely crazy. There's a Rebel Guard, but gonna take the up throw. Smart stuff from Bumo there. Plays out for the four tilt, gets grabbed with it, and a nice follow-up off the multi-jab there. Try to go for a little bit of snipe off the uh, down B there, but Brandon, again, his patience level has definitely uh, totally changed from the last games that we saw him. There's a cross-up off the four tilt, lays out gun. And a nice ledge jump into the back air here. Gonna make it tough for Plant. Lays out down B. Going to be looking for the two frame. No, he respects it out. Looks for the up smash. Tried to uh, bank it out against that up at 2E, but that, that is just tough. That is just a tough one. And it goes for the rebel guard, but not able to get it. Nice mix up from Bumo here. Pushes that right back off. Got to take a little bit of poison cloud. And a nice bait again from Bumo here. Here's that ledge trapping that he is so good at. There's a drift back onto the stage. Though. Finally able to get some room. 
Goes deep and gets a counter, pushes him underneath stage. What a tech from Boomo, but not going to have at her. That back air reaching on through. We've done it. Wow. Very, very clean right there. Very clean. All right, he's thinking it out right here. I, I, think, I think for me, too, like... I, I don't know what he did in between, but maybe bigger stages is actually the answer here for him. Yeah, maybe the bigger stages is actually the answer for him. Alright, and going on to the uh, flat FD here. And I, I think honestly, this is going to be a really, really great uh, for Brandon at this point. Um, a flat stage is definitely going to be his friend. Nice grab setup. Continues to apply pressure with fair. Missed the grab. A nice drift away from uh, Boomer right there. Just solid DI. Laying out for back air. Not able to get that though, but uh, you see him overly grabbing. His grabbing is like extremely excessive, but that's honestly where it needs to be because Boomo's just looking for that shield bait. All right, gonna nair it up. The nair trains are real. Down tilts through. Builds a little bit of uh, our sin and ready to go. Just gonna bait him out. And uh, his mix ups for approaches uh, against him out of ledge are actually really smart. Uh, he'll actually either wait it out, uh, faint jump it. He's really mixing it up the exact way he needs to and keep uh, Bumo on his toes here Gets the approach inside off the dash attack and nice drop down off the back air a very Leo classic right there Good stuff for him Tries to toss Miha though Bumo uh, gonna reach on through a little bit of a tether cancel a gun gonna help him push back on it And there's a little bit of the Joker combos This his grab game is really what's winning him this set right now Barely avoids it lays out down tilt gonna shield on through Lays out Miha to get him for the tech inside and get to get some great damage off of it. Gun pushes him into the forward tilt. Got him off stage here. Lays out Rebel Guard again just for a little bit of a mix-up. Carries him off stage here. He's using Gun Slide quite a bit uh, off ledge there. And what that's doing for him is not only does it get the active hitbox uh, against Batui, but it allows him to slide back really, really quick onto the stage. And uh, it, it actually will help him slide underneath Patui if Bumo uses that as a ledge guard. All right, hops on through and great shield pressure again. Picks him up off that jump, trying to get the approach in and what a lead from Brandon right here, turning it on into the back air. And this is not looking good for Bumo right here. Lay now gun, trying to get the approach on in. No grab though, and a nice follow up into Nair. You see him right there immediately. He throws an attack, spot dodges immediately. Bumo's very, very, very antsy uh, to get that push off or that counter attack in. And it is working out big time for Brandon right here. Gonna hang on ledge just to avoid Patui. Doesn't want to uh, rush it. Rolls on through. Gets him with the grab here. Tried to get a gun play, but not gonna do it. Bumo with the uh, down B stretchy next night. And definitely down throw right there. Gonna be the best tech situation into that raw bear. Continued pressure from gun right here. Bumo got to go for it. There's the back air. Nice, nice tech, though, and still making his way on through. But, man, at 108, this is looking like a tough, tough game for him. There's a gun cancel into forward tilt. Just going to wait out Patui. Not going to go for the cross-up off stage though. Cancels him out and gets the dash attack. Got him with the forward tilt. Goes for the gun descent. Going to wait him out. Look for the two-frame off forward tilt. Not going to get it, though. But he has got him in such a pickle here. But great answer from Bumo here. But Tui uh, cancel um, upward would have been the answer right there, though. That's so unfortunate. Dash attack straight in the face. Going to wait him out. Lays out Nair, though. And really, he's just waiting him out on stage to get our sin. Uh, got him at 163 right here. Picks him up with Mia again. And he's just going to wait it out at this point. Look for that follow-up. Try to lay out Bear. Not able to do it. Looking at it for the dash attack. Getting a little antsy, though. And almost out of Arsene. Going to push that counter back. And Bumo got a little bit of momentum here. Arsene almost gone. Going to roll on back and uh, try to get the grab off of it. Bumo got to make his way back on through. Wow. Barely made it back. Probably going to go for down throw. No, back throw. Still not going to kill him right there. Down throw will typically kill around 200%, depending on how heavy the character is. But Plant is quite a heavy, heavy boy. Nice tether cancel, just looking for a little bit of play. Rolls on through, and Bumo uh, actually dash dancing, not able to get the punish off of it. Such a close hit. There's the down throw at 220. Going to do the job. And Brandon, with some great patience there, looking to take this a 3-0 and wants that grand finals money. Wow. Wants that grand finals money.
All right, and pulling out the Meta Knight. I heard whispers of this. I heard whispers of this. All right, and going on to the Meta Knight here. Maybe a little bit of a better answer here. Got the speed uh, that could certainly help him out here. Um, you know, Meta Knight, definitely more of that, that against the timer character. He's going to be using that timer uh, to his advantage big time, though. But uh, Meta Knight, not really the bait and punish uh, type uh, plays you're going to see right here. All right, looking for the Nair follow-up. Goes for the get up attack and trying to lay it out, but uh, Men and I got a really nice um, up air train, especially on Joker too. He could definitely follow that up into the uh, shuttle loop at the end. All right, tries to look for a follow. Not able to get it though, but a uh, much stronger gameplay from him here. Uh, tries to dimensional cape right on towards him. You know, it's not. It's nice to see Meta Knight, though. Um, you know, I, I've commentated for a lot of uh, Oatmeal. Uh, Oatmeal, definitely one of my very uh, good friends and uh, one of my favorite Meta Knight players. And uh, it's just nice to see some representation. All right, going with the very, very low Rebel Guard. Still going to make it back, though. Oh, no, he missed the tether. And a nice, nice play here uh, from Bumo here. This switch is uh, really getting him some big mileage. All right, coming on back here, trying to toss out an air for it. And that step back drill, getting big mileage for him. All right, trying to clink it out. Meta Knight has such uh, fast uh, out of shield options. I think that's going to be a struggle for Brandon just because that's where he's been winning out the past matches here. Finally picks him up off the back here. There's the dimensional cape. Wasn't expecting it back towards the platform, but spot dodging in through. Going to get a little bit of a jab. Then there's a tornado mix up to the middle of the stage here. But Astro Jack or Down Smash going to uh, push him right back off here. Trying to keep that pressure back on him. Smart tornado, though. And now we're resetting it back. That one, though, I'm not so sure. Got the down smash again here. Uh, this is not Brawl, that's for sure. Try to go for the fast fall into the grab. Not able to get it. And there's a, wow, a quick fast fall uh, into uh, that tether uh, recovery here. Nice uh, dimensional cape, though, into jab. Jab comes out incredibly, incredibly quick. And I don't think Brandon knows exactly what's going on right now. Man. All right, double dimensional cape. Nice little uh, cancel, but got picked up by Sadash stack here. Meta Knight, can't, Meta Knight will still get pushed down by Gum, but it's not that big of a deal to him. Um, Shuttle Loop has a really, really nice vertical recovery on it. All right, converts it into the up air. No up B, though. All right, gets the approach on. No dash stack. Tries to hop on through. Gets picked up by that, that down tilt, though. Super fast out of shield options like we talked about. Back throw. Going to do it here. smart uh, rebel guard right there he was right at the edge of building meter and here we go with a conversion off that down throw here at the top plat chasing him out for the back air there's the uh, down air cross up picks him up off the sour spot too wow gets him a dash deck and wow this uh, gap is certainly closing here dimensional cape over he was expecting it there's the down air into the up air drag him into up smash oh my goodness gracious what a play from brandon and here we go on the last stock what a comeback though but he has certainly got meta knight's number right here lays out me on not able to get anything connected right here tosses out an air though and pushes him back as our sin is gone you're just gonna air dodge it back on through boom has got to be really careful spacing just because uh meta knight's airspeed really really poor guns right back on over throws out me to clank it out with the nair Using these plats just to play it on out. Tosses Tornado. Gonna have to take... Oh, no! He whipped the punish. Missed the grab. Going deep for the recovery there and not able to do it. Wow. Abumo definitely would uh, follow him way down there to the bottom of the blast zone. Plays out side B. And there's the down tilt into jabs. Comes on up. And... Uh, oh, no! Oh, my goodness. Uh, way off stage right there. Got to take the multi hit jab. Not going to go low. Take a little bit of a hit from the shuttle loop here. Abumo holding on tight to it right here. Brandon had such a lead. Wow, and holding down on the jab right there, not able to parry that last hit. Going to Rebel Guard it, though. Look for the down air play. Oh, my goodness. That was, oh, man, what a gambit right there. Goes for the cross up, and nice stuff with that feint into the fair right here. Got him off stage. Look for it. Got him with the fair, and Brandon is our grand finals champion tonight. Boom on second, and Mustang in third. Wow, oh, wow. Able to take it out. Bumo chased deep almost every single time, and he went for that really, really low recovery almost underneath the stage there, and Brandon just all over it. What great gameplay from everybody here tonight. Wow, oh wow. Incredible, incredible stuff from everybody tonight. Man, oh man. That is a grand final set that you want to see, ladies and gents. Absolutely incredible. Um, you know, everybody press F to pay respects for everybody that played today. Everybody did quite amazing, and uh, Brandon going to be taking it tonight. Absolutely incredible stuff. Um, guys, if you have not already, please 
check out Nexus Esports. You can see the logo. It's, it's like right over there. Yeah, it's right over there. Uh, awesome, awesome venue. They're going to be hosting some of these bigger events every once in a while. And I believe they're going to be hosting a weekly as well. So if you're interested in that, please, please, please go check it out. Um, and I'm sure they'll have some more info with you on their website, uh, Nexus Esports. If you haven't already and you enjoyed my commentary, uh, don't forget to check out here as well. And it's a pleasure being a part of today's event. I appreciate all of you guys for being here. Uh, and thank you. Thank you so much. What uh, great stuff. What great stuff from everybody involved tonight. Wow. And now we're going to be handing out that big old check. Got to be taking that big home, that big money on home tonight. $500 prize pot. Not too shabby, guys. Not too shabby. Wow. Well, again, guys, thank you so much for tuning in. I appreciate all of you, and we will see you next time here on stream. Okay, you can check us out here at Nexus Esports Events. That was a clean confirm, indeed. All right, guys, you have a great night. Thank you so much. I'll see you next time.